Uh, let's be honest, Nyx and Jile, if, if if there's bad things being thrown at them and it sticks, then the creators of Air and Ink don't want them to use their characters anymore. Anniverse then plummets and falls. You can't make that animation anymore. There's some big uh, things being- Before this begins, I want to make it clear I was not involved in any of these situations that we're going to look over today. None of the ones that are going to be stated in the video that Peaches has made that we're going to be reacting to today. And none of the tweets that we'll be looking over today. I've not watched the Peaches video, as you're going to see in the video. It's going to be my first reaction to it, as well as the tweets. I saw tweets here and there a little bit, and I was like, hey, I need to go ahead and make a video on this situation because if you know, we react to Underverse on this channel. And I want to make sure I'm supporting the right people because if you watch something and you react to it, you give it out to the people, you're supporting its development, you're giving more love and more attention to the creators. Maybe not love, but attention. And attention brings money, and we don't want to do that through the wrong people. Having said that, if I say something or do something that upsets someone that was involved in this whole situation, I do apologize. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying downplay anyone's events maybe if i think one thing and something else happened i apologize don't mean to downplay your event this is just the perception i'm taking as an outsider and i'm going to look at it from an unbiased perspective looking at it completely for what it is mostly focusing on the screenshots because that can be looked at without narration and yeah we're going to draw a conclusion here today and see if we continue this video was recorded on october 13th i do believe any videos that may have dropped after this uh date i have not checked yet and I think I don't really need to, but if I do, I'll make another video. And uh, yeah, I, I think we get a good conclusion out of this one. So stay tuned, you'll get the conclusion for sure of my thoughts. And we'll see you there. Just when I started like Nyx, I did feel like Nyx was gonna be involved in some stuff. I said this before, cause they were in the mod team and whatnot, but they seemed to be the, the one in the mod team that left the mod team cause they saw it was getting weird. But now we're hearing some things on Twitter from what I've seen so far that Jael and Nyx uh, both had some weird jokes that were throwing around when the grooming thing was happening. Uh, I saw one Twitter tweet where Jal made a joke that was something about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it said it was a, a slang joke or something that said, <laughs> it would sound crazy saying it out loud, but it, it, it said it was like a slang joke where it was like something with grooming kids, like having a lot of kids that uh, you were pretty much putting yourself onto, right? An, an older person just putting yourself on a lot of kids. Sounds crazy to ring out a lot because it's so specific for a slang thing, but I may have read it wrong and that's okay because we're going to get into the tweets later on. I'm just letting that be said right now because like I saw that junk and I said, hey, we got to make this all right. After they dropped this video, there have been people leaving. There have been YouTubers and a, a voice actor that left their server as well, Cam uh, Crystal Flame server, uh, after they've called out uh, this, this with this video right here. Obviously, they're not happy. Um, and we're gonna see exactly why right now. I'm not gonna make any accusations or anything. I mean, if I was to from the little stuff I saw, I'm thinking the people that just immediately left are just are immediately taking sides without reading everything because I don't know if anyone's really taking the time to read all this. There's a lot of junk up in here, bro. And it's the reason that you probably came to this video because you want to be all summarized in a video, all right? Uh, so it's probably you as well that doesn't want to read this junk and may or may not be just taking a side, which I think a lot of people have done that just left Crystal Flame server. Uh, but I'm not know for sure. Maybe they did take the time. I heavily doubt it though. But a lot of people are probably just siding because they love Cross and they love Underverse. <laughs> Let's be honest, bro. Like, come on, bro. Let's really think about it real quick, bro. You see something crazy being called out and you love this character or you love this show, you're going to be like, hey, man, if I, if I, hey. You know what I'm saying? If, if they're going to help me out in life in any type of way, whatever it is, I'm just going to go ahead and side with them because, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got that much evidence. I mean, Jail just hit one mil, one mil subscribers. They can probably hold some weight, right? It's not as, as bad as Camilla was, you know? At least at least Jail's always actively talking to the community and talking to people, you know what I'm saying? Camilla was kind of dead end. I still got Underverse. Boom, they go to Underverse. Underverse get hits. They're like, no, I can't let this one fall, bro. I got too much in my life that's involved with Underverse, whatever it may be. I can't let this die. I need, I need them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm yapping right now, though. I'm yapping. Let's continue, bro. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. Jackie? I don't know what I want. Jackie? Because she thinks now that they will for sure come after me. So, yeah. Sorry for pushing you on all this. But you know I would never bother you if it was I made that clear to them. I just need a break before I keep going. Yeah, but we are a duo. We are a package. In fact, I think she is even more worried than before. And in the same fashion, I don't care about myself if I can I can survive. But if something happens to Jackie, I don't know what I will do. Because she thinks now they are for sure, they for sure will come after me. So, f yeah, sorry for pushing. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> sorry for pushing this, you on this. But you know, I would never bother you if it wasn't for a life, wasn't a life or death situation. Okay. Now, read this out loud because I want to see the text itself. It's a screenshot, right? Don't know what was said above it. Don't know what was said below it. What it sounds like is Nick's knows about some of the sussy things they may have said in the group chats 
Next is knowing that, hey, it's only inevitable until they call me out as well and they get me out there for the stuff I said. That's what it's looking like right now from my perspective, okay? And that's me just reading the screenshot, taking the screenshot for what it is, okay? I'm not really letting anything too much outside, no influence besides what we've heard on Twitter and whatnot. Oh yeah, so Artie is a thing in this, which was a groomer, which we saw in a previous video. I think it was two videos back of us looking at stuff. Oh! What the heck? Jow said, add please to your insults. Veer said, but then it sounds like I want daddy's... Yeah. F you please. See, that's gay. Blah, 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 blah. You don't want to be discovered yet? What the heck? Okay, so they all chilling and really laughing with Veer. That's, that's kind of disgusting. This was all the way back in 2017, it seems. Which was, dang, how long ago was that really, bro? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Dang, bro, time flies once you hit that 18 age, bro. Once you hit 18, bro, time flies, bro. That's six years. They can have a lot of <laughs> with Betty Sand. Oh, freak. Giles said that. Oh, freak. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. That don't look good. That don't look good, bud. That don't look good, bud. I'm reblogging that next soon. Of course, of course. Today is a crazy day. That was a terrible joke, bro. Like 20 people died. Your face is a terrible joke. Some of them are suspecting. I know the Barcelona topic is not a joke, but sorry for taking. Take a huge black human. Black ass. Oh, freak. Nick said that. Oh, freak. Oh, freak. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> hold on. I'm doing the math. I'm doing the math. I'm doing the math as the video's saying. I'm doing the math. Hold up. So they was all making these weird jokes. Uh, these weird, weird jokes. Okay. Okay. I'm saying it now. Okay. And they just laugh at how bad their jokes are as they do the weird jokes. I hate I hate those kind of people. I know they probably they could like 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 I said I'm thinking of those from open perspective. They could have changed by now and seen the wrongdoings. You know what I'm saying? I just want to put that out there, right? But at this point, what I'm seeing right now, they seem like that one group of people that say the edgy jokes and they're like, Oh my God, no, you didn't. You did not say that, dude. Oh, you're so edgy, man. <laughs> oh, Ronald, you're so edgy, dude. Oh man, you're crazy, dude. Hey, and hey, guess what? I would too, Ronald. Oh, why are we? I'm so crazy. <laughs> Like, it's so stupid. We either publicly acknowledge it and take measures to remove said person from further interacting with minors, or privately handle it and take measure to remove said person from interacting, from further interacting with minors, but something has to be done. Either way, I cannot be ignored. At this point, it would be actively covering him up. Wait, what? Wait, what? You either publicly acknowledge it and take the measures to remove said person from further interacting. Wait, what? Why does it sound like Nix is like... Telling them, like, to, hey, yo, deal with that situation, bro. That's crazy. I see down the line it will always be Cammy's decision, but it's an interesting take you've brought. Although it might be difficult to make not make him interact with minors, considering the members' ages and his status currently. At the end of the day, it boils down to, do we want to keep working with a known groomer? It takes one person to name drop him somewhere. Or one of the victims to speak up, and Glitch Tail as a whole will get involved in an extremely messed up situation. Just see what has happened on the last year regarding harassment allegations everywhere. It's not pretty. This was in 2022 when they said this. I mean, this is just them casually saying like, you know, you gotta deal with that situation. It's not gonna be good. That's just kind of all that is right there. Did the math. I'm baby Johnny Cash. My girl gonna throw it back. Damn, my life is in the mask. Holy hell, this max. I make hits and you make trash. I'm on vacay, do not ask. Pulls out even. Wait, Crystal, Crystal edited this? Yo, good editing. Hello, everyone. I just said, no way under it. Good editing. Welcome to the channel. So, there have been some major updates to a serious situation I covered in December 2022 about the YouTuber Camilla Cuevas. On the 14th of October, Crystal Flame made a Twitter thread detailing their experiences with the creator Camilla Cuevas, as well as the moderation team of the Glitchtail Discord server, and other creators who were working on the project. Crystal shares how they've been groomed for years by two members of staff, Camilla's friend and VTuber Artie Chan and co-writer and Camilla's boyfriend Ve Chun. When Crystal came forward to Camilla about this, Camilla dismissed what Crystal had gone through, <sighs> stating Ve could have dated the whole mod squad and I still wouldn't be mad. You know, a squad filled with minors. 
Camilla later banned Crystal for coming out about their abuse and enabled her boyfriend to keep abusing other children in her community. Since Crystal came out in October, I was able to get both Artie and Veer into recorded calls, admitting to their predatory behaviour, and acquire the necessary information to forward it on to the police. During our investigation, it was revealed that there was a confirmed 10 predators, not only in the Glitchdale community, but specifically close friends with Camilla Cuevas. The only hurdle Boom! was to track down the other sorry, sorry, predators sorry. amongst their friend group and getting Camilla to take accountability. After four public statements from Camilla, she still hasn't. So, let's go over the new updates in this situation since then about Camilla Cuevas, as well as a couple other Undertale creators who've been working very hard in the background to silence those who knew about their vile actions. Large creators that Camilla associated with just refused to acknowledge the situation, and even a few of the creators from other spheres conflated her actions enabling predation to petty art drama. While I'm editing this, guys, I just thought about what Peaches is saying here, and they bring a good point because, you know, you're gonna see in the future to come in this video, you know, how prevalent Nyx and Jael are in the chats with Veer and everything, and of course, Veer is saying who he's messing with and all this yada yada. So they knew about the grooming and stuff and had ideas about it, and they did not say anything throughout all these years until it got to the point where Crystal had to amp things up. Then Nyx came out and said, oh yeah, that junk happened, and blah blah blah. So they did actually stay silent for a long time, so I can see Peach's frustration with that as well. Okay, hold on now. Okay, hold on now. Because, uh, Nyx did come out, and I thought I thought he supported Crystal, but maybe I'm remembering wrong, and my whole thing is invalid. If it is, then it's invalid. I'm saying it right now. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, okay? You know? Uh, but I, I could have swore Nyx came out and did kind of back up Crystal just a little bit in, the, in that last video we did. However, like I just said, this was only after years of Crystal having to build up the courage to say it themselves when Nyx knew about these things happening. I know. I know. I'm and I was like, how, yo, so, yo, the there's such part, a bad friend and blah, blah, blah. tried to continue blah, blah. on as if she didn't. Or maybe they did. Maybe Nyx and Jael did that because they knew that the, the, it might turn on them next. So they got to really make sure they ain't friends with Camilla. And we they never liked Camilla. <laughs> so maybe they was already trying to hide the cover up right there. Whoa. Whoa. Brain blast. Brain blast. Brain blast. That's why Nyx backed up back then. She, that's why he backed up Crystal because he was like, look, we don't want to mess with Camilla either. So whatever happens, you know, say don't expose. Open state to one of the victims that they could have dated the whole mod squad a group of children, and she wouldn't be mad. Three, only temporarily banned her boyfriend from the Discord server she ran, because a victim went to a couple of <sighs> useless YouTubers who ultimately ignored the activity in Camilla Circle for personal gain. Four, banned a victim of grooming, spread lies about them, and enabled their harassment because they dared to speak up against her boyfriend, Veer. Five, mocked the victims and their suffering in a private chat of her Discord server because all of this was just drama that she found hilarious. A cheeky extra six, then only apologise about said things she said because I called it out on Twitter. I mean, I already proved she knew about what Veer was doing in my last video here, but if she wants to continue to play pretend, that's all right. Crystal oh, Flame free. was able to get back their Skype history, and with that, was able to provide further oh, updates, such as this screenshot in 2017. Uh, extreme desire to uh, sexual addict. Okay. Where Camilla is a woeing at Vic mm. talking about his extreme desires well, in front of a 14-year-old kid. Or maybe this screenshot, where Camilla is flattered by Vic confessing his sexual desires through a 14-year-old kid. Or maybe this screenshot here, where Camilla admits to thinking of sex with Veer in front of a 14-year-old kid. No, no, no. They aren't the most damning, though. The most damning is a conversation Crystal, 14 years old at the time, had with Camilla, who, for a reminder, was 22 years old. In this conversation, Crystal tells Camilla that Veer had been receiving nudes from a child Crystal's age. And Camilla just didn't care. I knew Camilla knew about this for the longest time, but it's still gut-wrenching to see a grown woman give so little care about children. Even tried to keep him around until November of 2022. Gotta play League! Gotta play League! <laughs> 
I might enough League of Legends jokes in correlation with this with the Camilla situation. All right, uh, I'm not gonna bring up any more. But yeah, I mean, I I don't think we really need to hear any more about Camilla. I'll be honest, but we'll let it play. It is Camilla didn't drop there because she suddenly realized he was a child predator. She always knew. Camilla dropped him because he didn't help her when she was called out. All children are to Camilla are mindless consumers of her content and innocent fans too young to grasp the severity of her actions and the danger she's willing to put them in. Camilla has not and will not do anything to help anybody else but herself, which is further proven in her more recent actions if, you know, being okay with your boyfriend owning CP isn't a clear enough sign. I've been making mistakes my whole life and this isn't even the biggest one. Regardless, it's why I'm not taking charge of anything anymore, cause I honestly never did. I trusted that people around me would, which we knew backfired horrendously. So I'm not taking charge of anything in social media anymore. I left the GC immediately because I had just finished an appointment with- <laughs> They said, hey, I ain't never take charge of nothing in my life and hey, ain't nothing seemed to work out for him, but guess what? Now I gonna take charge of nothing again. <laughs> This one's like stuck in a loop and you doing it to yourself. Come on, what the heck? Psychologist, and let's just say it didn't go well. Oh, I preferred to take brilliant. care of what was left of my mental health that day and left. So essentially, I don't understand why people won't let me talk to little kids alone just because I enabled the predators who hurt them. Which, Camilla, that should be pretty self-evident, but again, what do I know? Then she says that she's prioritizing her mental health over accountability. Again. It's funny how, out of all the people involved in this- This job, that thing has happened over years, by the way, and she's saying that again. Did you hear my fart? Hopefully not, but yeah, it's crazy. Situation, Camilla mentioned- 2023 does that again. Literally anyone else. The cycle's not been broken. Philippe Moncaro is a Chilean musician and composer who made the soundtracks for Undertale fan work such as Underverse and Glitchtale under the name Nix the Shield, as well as becoming a- Oh dang, they threw out his government name like that? Gosh, dang. Who made the soundtracks for Undertale fan work such as Underverse and Glitchtale under the name Nix the Shield, as well as becoming a decently well-known modder in the Super Smash Bros and Friday Night Funkin' communities. Oh, that's why I see him posting so much about that, John. Okay. This has also been a close friend of Camilla Cuevas. So, I had no intention of ever discussing Nyx on my channel. Ironically, it's been his attempts to stop me from doing so that drew my attention. People who <laughs> and gamble. Don't do that. Well, now I kind of want to. <laughs> okay, okay, features, all right. Into, I definitely try to keep something hidden. Spoiler alert. He definitely has been. On the 23rd of July, Nyx made a Twitter thread detailing how Camilla screwed him over while he was working with her. There are definitely issues with his thread. 3. I have screenshots of Nyx making Islamophobic jokes, linking to Islamophobic videos, and calling people retarded. So his points at the start about being ostracized because he's the only guy who never says offensive jokes is a bit wobble. Link into Dang, run that back. Yes. Dang, Three, run that I back. Camilla just full on just laughing, bro, saying, eh, Tumblr, lol, that's crazy. Link into Islamophobic videos and calling people retarded. So his points at the start about being ostracized because he's the only guy who never says offensive jokes is a bit wobbly. My actual issue with the thread arises when Nick states that he knew about what Veer did and didn't speak up. Nick states he saw Crystal getting harassed for coming out about Veer back in 2021, and due to that, the other victims didn't want to say anything, so Nick didn't either. Considering Crystal was harassed specifically with the purpose of protecting Veer, it feels a bit gross that the then 25-year-old man would use that as an excuse to not call out a child predator in the server. Can I? Oh, they're 25 at a time? Dang, how old is... Oh, they got that on Google? 1111! Nixon Shield was born on 1111! What? Brody saw it all. Brody saw life unfold. My god. Ironic, actually, that Nick said nothing when Crystal was being harassed, but then made a statement when he was getting rude comments. This whole post reeks of lies to manipulate his audience when he cross examined his public statements with his private logs with Crystal from 2020. That's tough, that's tough, In Nick's thread, he states he knew in 2020. But I'm gonna chalk that up to misremembering his date somewhat for now. Well, Nix was told about what happened on the 17th of September, 2021. I wanted to ask something a bit personal. What happened with Veer's situation at the end? Because, like, as far as I know, it was some serious stuff. But I've seen Veer back in the, at the Glitch Tail server. <coughs> this is in 2021. I forgot the time scale where Veer gets back in the server. Uh, and that makes me extremely uncomfortable. Unless whatever happened was resolved somehow. 
But yeah, sorry if I'm touching a sensitive topic. Oh boy. And on the 17th of September 2021, okay. again a bit weird then that <laughs> the fact that Crystal was harassed in January of 2021 is the reason why you didn't say anything, but whatever. If anyone needs a reminder for the timeline, by the way, Veer had been banned from the Glitchtail server oh, thank in you. January of 2021, but was let okay. back in come June of 2021 with full access to the server. In the logs... Okay, and then when did well, when did Crystal was harassed Brody send this? January of 2020. We told about what happened. This is in the 9th September. June is all the way back here. So it was like three months after he sent this. Veer had been banned from the Glitchtail server in January of 2021, okay. but was let back in come June of 2021. With and then June he was let back in, then three months after, then Nick said something. Full access to the server. In the logs with Crystal in September, Nick seems to fully Dang. believe Crystal about what happened with Veer and suggests making a twit longer to take down the GTC. Looking at his message about what happened with Veer and suggests making a the GTC is crazy. Yeah, and I'm apparently immature for not being happy with the outcome. You know, you can mess up Veer and Cammy by like tweet longing all of this, right? There's some serious stuff. I know, but I'm so done with all of it. And one of the abuse victims is getting help in real therapy now. And I'd rather not make it not be public. I'm just mad that Veer isn't banned. A groomer shouldn't be allowed around kids. True. Guys, this is very big. It's a good thing I can edit this video and look back over everything one more time. Because look how many times Crystal is saying directly to Nyx right now that they don't think a, pre a, a groomer should be in a server. AKA Veer right now, right? They don't think Veer should be a server, be allowed in a server. They are a groomer. That groomer should not be allowed around kids in a server. They're saying it to Nyx repeatedly. Okay, this is important because Nyx is going to say in a Twitter post later on, he's going to suggest that Crystal said that they didn't want... A Nix to bring up the situation or bring up Crystal's name at all. And you're going to see that, but you're going to also notice how many times Crystal is also bringing up that they don't think Veer should be in the server and they're and they're like, yo, why is Veer in the server, blah, blah, blah. And why is the groomer in the server? Even to add on to that, Nix will also have another groomer in their Underverse server that he lets just hang there and chill there. And he's like, hey, if they don't do anything bad in this server, then they can stay. Even though Crystal's obviously here telling them, in general, they don't think a groomer should be allowed in a server with kids. If you guys want to determine someone's character, you look at the cycles they continue to repeat and commit. This is a cycle Nyx is committing, right? He's not pressing Veer to get out of the server hard, and you'll see what I'm talking about more about in the future of this video. He's just like, hey, if people find out, they're going to be like, oh, snap, that groomer's in the server. Damn, but they, bad things are going to happen. You guys should probably do something, but, you know, it's whatever. At least I'm getting my paycheck, right? And the second time he does something like this is him letting the groomer into his underverse server. You know, in the mod team, when the mod team is literally telling them that, hey, they're a groomer, <laughs> you know, you might not want to have them in there. There's documents being dropped showing that they're a groomer, and Nix is still just like, hey, you know, if they don't do, if they don't do anything bad in the server, they can stay. It's whatever. We'll just wait. You know what I'm saying? Let them stay. Let them chill. Like, yeah, come on now. Twit longer to take down the GTC. Looking at his messages, it seems like Nix didn't like Camilla for a very long time. I mean, no shocker, who would? The first hint of strangeness is how Nix talks about taking Camilla down with sharing all the slurs. In this case, uh, is I just do some slur searching and mess up the server anyway. Us. Yeah, Nix knows about that. Yeah, he did it us. Oh, whoa, 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 there it is, right there, bruh. Yeah, okay. Is there a clue how many times they've said the N-word? Ah, yeah, Crystal told me about that as well. Uh, Very racist. Implies threatening her with sharing slurs out of the server. If she Crystal said they call it hate, um, a lot of racial slurs, you know what I'm saying, making, like, making jokes. Uh, Camilla did all that. Doesn't remove uh, it. Instead of... You know, the more obvious thing of calling her out for having a child predator there, but what do I know? Now let's build upon that thought real quick. Nyx has gave us more ammo with that with that claim right there. So not only did Nyx not call them out for the racial slurs they've been saying in the mod chat and everything up, up till the day, you know what I'm saying, where Crystal had to spark the flame and really expose them. Still didn't say anything, but he also didn't call them out for the grooming either. He just slightly mentioned it, like, hey, we should probably get them out of the server. This just shows how much Nyx really just stood by and just let these things happen. Yeah, he mentioned the Veer thing with the grooming, like, we probably should have them in the server, but besides that, he knew all this stuff was happening and did not care to expose them because, you know, he was working for Camilla getting that bread. I'm a guy, that's the only motive I can see, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's the only motive I can see. He just wanted that paycheck still, so he didn't expose them, you know what I'm saying? Because why why else? You're over here chatting and yapping about how they're doing slurs and the grooming still the groomer's still being in there and whatnot, and you're still not gonna expose them? You're just gonna sit by? <laughs> Guys name, my brother, dang! Nix then goes on to say how he'll confront Camilla as he will not stand to have a child predator around children, and states that if Camilla does not do something about Veer, he will go against her publicly. Crystal wishes him luck, asks for Nix to keep them updated, and then <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happens. Crystal and Nick's exchanging holiday wishes at Christmas. 
then jumping the months each time with small talk. I asked Crystal if I missed anything in these exports, but no, Nyx just never came back to them about the Veer stuff. So this already blows a huge hole in what Nyx said publicly. Nyx kept saying he never said anything because the victims told him not to, but Crystal's a victim. And they have their own grooming experience. What, just Crystal doesn't count? Why? I got exports of the mod chats at the GTC. Dang, that's a good point they bring up right there. That's a great point they bring up right there. And like I said earlier, when I got very excited because I realized this through editing, that Crystal has shown many efforts and said many things about getting Veer out of the server and they need to get out of the server. They've said that to Nyx. So yeah, Nyx is going to bring up something in the future saying Crystal said they didn't want to be mentioned, but also we know now Crystal also has been heavily letting Nyx know they shouldn't be in that server. I need to check if Nyx believed any of this there too, and yeah, he, he did. In January 2022, Nyx is openly calling Veer a child predator, yet seems more concerned with how Veer being found out publicly would affect her. Okay, so this does look like Nyx tried to say something here. They didn't really push it. They just said, hey guys, do we want to have a groomer in the channel? I don't think so. We should probably get him out. But hey, you know. And then this dude's like, hey, it's it Cammy's decision. You know what I'm saying? Why did you think Veer was banned for a while here? Extremely vague announcement. I actually don't know why he was even allowed back. I talked to Cammy about this. Same reason I don't come into the server very often. Oh, there he is. So he's, so he's chatting. He's letting him know. We don't want to be in there because Veer's in here. Nix is letting them know. So what's what's happening here? What was the dialogue? Too, and yeah, he he did. In January 2022, Nix is openly calling Veer a child predator. Yet seems. Oh, this is all the begging. More concerned oh, with how Veer being found out publicly would affect everyone working on Glitch Tale due to Crow's own judgment at the time doing the stream on the Veer situation. So Nix believed Crystal both away from them and drew their face. Said he would do something, mm -hmm. yet didn't. Even. I mean, it looked like he said, like he mentioned it. It was like, <laughs> that's one of them things. Like you go to school and they're like, yo, bro, can you get that assignment for me? Uh, I ain't going to make it to class. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, I got you, bro. They walk by the classroom. They look at the teacher. They're like, you giving out that homework today? It would be great if you gave that homework out to everyone. And the teacher's just like, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? It's there to, you know, if they come and get it, you know what I'm saying? They can come and get it. It's like, all right. See you. <laughs> like he just he mentioned the junk and then just walk away. <laughs> Doesn't even. Oh man, did you get that homework? Did you bring it back, man? I needed it. He's like, oh, I, I brought it up. You know what I'm saying? I brought. I defended. I defended that homework for you, man. I brought it up. I just didn't, you know, grab it. I didn't really take too much action, but I I brought it up. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Freak, bro. After all the theatrics and Crystal's DMs, I think the saddest thing is he gave a victim false hope. Said he would mm. do something and then ghosted and then, you know, continued to be a mod in that server and did absolutely nothing. It's not like he yeah. forgot about Veer at all, as again, the mod logs prove that. Nyx can't say he was told by other victims to not speak up either as one. Just like how Crystal can't come out about other victims when they want to go public, other victims can't force somebody else to have to stay silent. Crystal had their own experience with this fucking serial child groomer using yeah. and abusing them. One Nyx believed and said he would fight for. And number two, Nyx states in Crystal's own DMs that he didn't know any other victims. 2022 rolls around, tells Crystal he'll need to think on whether he'll signal boost Crystal on the truth about what Veer did. Nyx's excuse is he'll lose half of his income, but considering at this point in time, Yo, I saw a Twitter thread, I'm gonna retweet it, but give me like a day to think on it. Thank you, Nyx, it means the world to me. That retweet means I will lose half of my income, so I gotta wait on it a little bit. Who the freak cares about money right now, dude? <laughs> hey, who cares about money right now? <laughs> no way anyone ever puts money ahead of like exposing truth. There's no way, dude. Need to burn paying people to upload Freak to that, bro. for him and was well. So I gotta finish this video and get this bread first though. Hold on. So then Nick says something that just makes all too much sense. A thread on Veer is something I can insta retweet because I already told Camilla that if anything that exposes Veer comes to light, I can't ignore it. Yeah. Just, uh, just in case that wasn't obvious, uh, Nyx directly tells Crystal that he was okay with keeping Veer around little boys and girls as long as it. This is last year, by the way. LOL. Oh, this is all the way in October of 2022. So this is after every other thing we just recently saw. This was last year, by the way. I'm not leaking DMs with Cammy, but I specifically told her if this blew up, I was not going to get involved. If, if she doesn't want to talk, I do not care. 
But if it were to come out of her, you know that I won't cover for you guys. Okay, it's all coming together. Just right now, it just all came together. Okay, so like I said, Nyx is not wanting to directly say to get Veer out. He's talked to Camilla with it every now and then, but he's honest. But when he brings it up, he's like, hey, do you guys want to group on your server? Okay, well, it's up to you. He's not really pushing hard for it or saying he's going to leave for it. He's still wanting to work with Camilla and get that bread from what it seems. So he's just leaving it as an issue on the side. And he said, hey, Camilla, but if this comes out, I got to say something because, you know what I'm saying, my whole reputation going to be ruined. So, you know what I'm saying, I'll still work on the project and get this money from you. Uh, but, you know, decide if you want to get them out or not. Up to you. Blah, blah, blah. And if something comes out, I get to say it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm still going to work with you because I need the bread. Blah, blah, blah. Or I want the bread. Bread being money here. So it's all come together. Nyx is kind of just trying to float by everything and still play and still get money from Camilla and work on the project. He doesn't want to lose his position for aggressively calling Vera out and demanding he needs to leave because he doesn't want to lose his position. It doesn't go public because for a final So Nyx is playing the default role here. 2021 until November 2022. And Crystal obviously is mad because she wished that Nyx actually pushed for uh, veer to get out and for nix to actually put his work aside and put the money aside and do what's right and not just stay in the middle like you're a gosh dang uh soldier or something just just going with whatever your captain says which is camilla here the time between nix promising to do something until camilla herself did veer was known by every mod to have access to the glitchdale server and chats that access several miners and all the mods also kept him close with his main grooming victim b so it seems all along, Nyx wasn't concerned about if victims wanted to go public, as Crystal wanted to help since July of 2020. Nyx knew about Crystal wanting to help since January of 2021. Nyx promised he would help Crystal in September of 2021, and victims even went public in January 2022 with Crows and Judgment. But no, Nyx was more concerned with how the public would take it. If it would damage himself, as he said in the mod chat, their being outed would affect them all. Yeah, Birdie tried to do two main stories at the same time, bro. Not knowing that one was for this route and that route. You can't do two routes at the same time, bro. You gotta either attack or, you know what I'm saying, attack. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in the middle ground and you'll get hit with both ends. Also, before Birdie got hit with on both the next ends. section, I just wanna throw this out there that Nyx was trying to defend Camilla and himself in Crystal's DMs with this gem. Oh, 2014 is rough here. Before, like, 2018, it was normalized at eight minors. It's a Latino thing. It's still normalized nowadays. They chatting, they chatting, they chat right now. That wasn't even in the text right there, bro. They chatting. No, nah, it actually wasn't a text. I didn't even notice, bro. Just wait my reaction. <laughs> I'm mad confused. Freaking where? Yeah, I didn't really have any. Oh, wait. I thought he was going to rest. 2014 is rough, but yet she still says, only found out a year ago. I don't really get it. Before, like, 2018, it was normalized to date minors. Oh, he pretty much summed it. Before 2018, it was normalized to date minors. It's a Latino thing. Oh, that's where he's that's where he's yapping about the, the the commentator. Oh my. Still extremely normalized nowadays. Really? Yeah. What? What? I'm not Latino, but I've seen many Twitter tweets saying, yo, this ain't the thing this ain't normalized, bruh. I've seen a lot of Twitter tweets saying that, bruh. And I don't know if that's a good excuse for <laughs> what hey. Hey, even nowadays in 2022, you know how, how much media is woke, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, bro. If that's a normal thing, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Nowadays, freaking where? Yeah, I didn't really have anywhere to put that. I just wanted Blyo to read that because he's also Latino. I know that got crystal heated, by the way. I know that junk got crystal heated, by the way. They said, really? Question mark? Question mark? You really want to go down this path? Or? Yeah, I didn't really have. Nowadays, it's normalized. Blyo to read that because he's also Latino. Thank you very much. Please let me know in the comments if this is true because uh, I see right, there you go. bullshit. There you go. There you anyway. go. Anyway. The commentator, they said it was, it was a Latino, right? Yeah, yeah. Commentator that read it, they said it was Latino. And they said, weird is that? Okay. There you go. Knowing parts of this, when Nix's thread was released on July of 2023 and with his partner, Jayo Peñaloza, a 1 million subscriber Undertale animator. Hey! They wasn't having 1 mil yet. And P just dropped this at uh, the seventh. They they predicted ahead of there because I knew it was going with that one meal as well. Made a thread in the same vein. I was pretty pissed and call it out via a quote retweet. And it ended with Jackie bringing up my own abuse as a kid for like no reason. I'll never invalidate what you went through with her, but I'm not you and you're not me. I didn't have justice in my childhood. Camilla treated us both like crap, but you can't pretend I'm gonna. 
I'm pretend I'm gonna act like you. Every person deals with their traumas and experiences differently. You assume I had justice in my life, but my groomer got away and an entire community mocked my experience. Whoa, and my parents hit me over it. Oh my gosh. I just don't see how it's a good or noble or acceptable thing to allow that to happen and not call it out. Call it out or call the police. Now that we're bringing up the Twitter posts that are kind of somewhat recent, uh, I will say, yeah, Rebel Rosie has been tweeting a lot of exposure to the situation on Twitter, which, I, like I said, we'll get into some Twitter stuff here. And I, I don't know if we'll have too much Rebel Rosie tweets, but so I, wanted, I really just wanted to examine Jowl and uh, Nix. I'm hoping everything else is covered in this video that they're going to say, so, yeah. And Nix saying he's glad people... I'm talking like years of emotional manipulation and abuse from Camilla and victims asking me not to speak up didn't matter at all. Last part is it's so false and low even for you. I am just gonna block you now, but I'm glad people don't take you seriously. <laughs> Gosh dang. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> that was cold, bro. That was cold, bro. That was cold. I'm glad people don't take you seriously after y'all are just throwing freaking trauma at each other. I can extend the same kindness to Nick's as he knew about the grooming, knew the info of the Preds, did nothing, then blamed the 12 year olds for his inaction. Oh dang. This is this some beef right here, bro. This is some beef right here, bro. This tweet, way too far with someone with 300,000 subscribers and no morals. As Nick's went and spoke to Crystal, stating I was just trying to make him look bad and was playing down. I know that popped up later. I didn't talk to them. I only ever talked to you, Pongu, and Baguette. Uh, anything else was indirectly told to me or lied to me by Camilla or simply not told. It made me look like I knew all the details and everything about what happened and did nothing while completely playing down uh, Jackie and my abuse. Uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer, and it looks like Nix is not acknowledging that. He kind of tried to play both sides there. It seems like they're actually like, hey, you know, I was, you know, I was trying, man, but you wasn't. You tried to the littlest amount, the homework thing I brought up earlier. <sighs> then Nyx makes an ultimatum for Crystal after begging them to defend him publicly. I can jump from a bridge as an alternative. Ain't no freaking way they said that. For reals, can you take a side here? I can jump from a bridge as an alternative here. I'm at my limit. What the freak, dude? I freaking hate that. I freaking hate that. <laughs> I actually hate that, dude. I actually hate that, bro. Why is it so common for these people in this freaking community? <laughs> A little GTC or whatever you want to call it, bro, because he was in there. Why is it so common for them to threaten people with killing themselves? Shut the freak up, bro. <laughs> Yo, like, shut up, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care, bro. I know you go through stuff, bro. A lot of people go through stuff in life, but the moment you start telling someone you're going to kill yourself if they don't do something, that's actually insane. That's actually insane. Gosh, dang, dude. Freak. That's manipulation as fine as, bro. I don't know. That's just such a weird way to even say that in general, even if it's like a little like hypothetical here, if he's even talking hypothetically. Goodness, dude. And then uh, Crystal says, I'm talking to the media. I'm at my limit. Yeah, Nick's uh, threatened a victim of grooming with suicide. Charming. All this over some British chick calling you out on Twitter. If it was a one time comment, I know people would go and say, Oh, you're taking it out of context. I mean, I know Nick's has been doing since Sarah showed it, but it wasn't just the one time, was it, Nick's? Yo, Crystal, you there? Need to tell you something. Let me know if you are up, because I need to delete it as soon as you read it. What? Sure, okay. I'm here. Okay, so you know why me and Jackie didn't want to come forward with all of this? Jackie is clinically depressed and is suicidal. Ah, uh, so the stress is getting to her with this? No, this was before all this. Years before. Before she was even famous or met me. You get that, right? Let me know if you get the things. Only two other souls know about this, and it's only you and P. No one else. Sorry, the background changed it. Sorry. In the world. Not even her family. Understood. So the thing is, this was way, way, way before UT was even a thing. Jackie, before meeting me, was going to kill herself. She had a date typed and everything. She cannot withstand this kind of thing. She was at her wit's end even before she received any kind of harassment. And right now, this is the worst I've ever seen her. She was crying while streaming. She disabled moderation for the stream. 
She's completely given up on all of this. Got that? Yep. So yeah, sorry for telling you all this, but I don't know what to do. She is completely regretting coming forward with all this. And if I'm honest, I am too. I'm trying to solve a lot of this in the background. I do not wish for a back and forth between any of you guys, as I see all of you as my friends, and I'm in a really tough spot. But I do understand the hardships you two are facing right now. Because sure, Camilla is finally given the massive backlash she deserved, and is finally being held accountable for the stuff she- Dang, they really did just expose Jackie, like, the whole Jackie story just here, in this video. Gosh dang, that's kinda messed up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, bro. How the frick did you mess this up, by the way, Nyx? It seemed like you're still talking to Crystal, like, on a good basis. And I know Crystal's had that profile picture for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I saw Crystal with that profile picture when I talked to them the first time I saw them. Uh, or they, you know, they approached me, or did I approach them? I don't really know what happened. <laughs> how did we meet, Crystal? I forget. But uh, they had that for a bit, so how the heck did you fumble this bag, Nyx? But to us, this is torture. We came forward to vent about our years of trauma, abuse, and manipulation. And if that helped expose Camilla further, that's fine. That's the thing. We're not butting heads. We are literally not butting heads. We don't want to deal with any of this anymore. We just want to move forwards. If we wanted to, we could have made a video about those two and just used our massive following to harass these people to leave us alone. I don't care about myself. It's pretty messed up. That's a threat right there. Well, I can survive. But if something happened to Jackie, I don't know what I will do because she thinks now they for sure will come after me. So yeah, sorry for pushing you on all this, but you know I would never bother you if it wasn't a life or death situation. I don't know what I would do if they, something happened to them. I don't know. Vengeance. Uh, he in his Batman mode right now. He in his, he in his protect the lady at all cost. Lady? Wait, do that have a pronoun? Does that key have pronouns? I don't know. Sorry about that one, but um, yeah, you know, they, they in that mode right now, apparently, uh, and they, they've been in that mode. So, let's digest what we just witnessed, shall we? Nyx tells Crystal that his partner Jackie is the most suicidal she's ever been because of the quote retweet I made, calling out these two for not saying anything sooner and only doing it now because they have a person to squabble. He makes sure to detail how suicidal she's been in the past to really hammer home the severity, after already telling Crystal he'll throw himself off a bridge if Crystal doesn't publicly side against me. I wasn't even gonna make this whole video. They said that earlier in the video. And as you can hear, when they talk, they kind of smile a little bit because they're like, bro, they could have avoided this so easily, bro. They could have just literally said, hey, yo, we did neglect it. We do apologize. And, you know, what happened in the past, we're trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's really all they got to say, you know what I'm saying? But... Nick's went into Batman mode and you got jokered. Boom, now we got you 100% 4K. Now you're getting exposed for everything, buddy. You should have just said sorry. Now I gotta get the call out video. Something Nick has only ever told one other person and that it's something not even Jackie's family knows about. Weird then that the uh, only other person Nick has ever told was also a victim of predators in the GTC. Wow. Well, oh, shoot. You know, when I'm vaguely threatening that he can use his platform to harass me, an Undertale staple. Yeah, and like I said, that was a and threat. That this situation is a matter of life and death. I mean, this was a bit of a triggering read, as I know what it's like to have someone make you responsible for their life or the life of somebody else. We've yeah, yeah. That you're yeah. constantly walking on eggshells because even the slightest slip up will result in this person's death. And you're the cause for any and all suffering this person goes through. Doing that to Crystal over a quote retweet? Right? I don't quite know how to express how now. scary all of this behavior is, as it is something that's more subtle. Being put in the position Crystal has over and over and over again by people like this, by Vib, by Artie, by Camilla, by Nyx. And then Nyx ne completely neglected and then says also, just like as the ones had before, I'm going to kill myself if you don't do something, Crystal. Imagine the repetition, bro. It's like Crystal can't escape it, but the reason they can't escape it is because it keeps coming back. And it's all from the same place, huh? Gosh dang. Constantly made to be responsible for all of these abusive people's lives. It's genuinely horrifying and should not have happened. With a Twitter thread's strange direction, the peculiar behavior in Crystal's chats and the mod chats of Glitchtail, and with the threats of harassing me and threats of self-harm to keep Crystal in line, it made me think. There's no way someone who was innocent would go this far, right? Mmm. 
Peach is cooking, bro. If y'all don't smell it, y'all just ain't listening, bro. Crystal put in a request to get the exports of all their Skype history on the 9th of August of 2023, and on the 13th of August, they finally received it all. It only proved further what we dreaded. This chat had Artie Chan, Camilla Cuevas, Ice64, Link Wolf, Camilla's brother Pablo Cuevas, Strelop, Veer, and Nix the Shield and Jail Peñalosa as well as several miners that were also in the group chat. Everyone here was just so open about how they were disgusting to miners. These are miners that were around 10 years younger than the majority of the adults too, mind you. This isn't a case of 18 year olds not watching their language around the 16 year olds. These adults have also been found to be grooming kids individually too, or were okay with a collection of CP, or defenders of known predators. I could not believe I would have seen something like Jackie herself entertaining these chats. Right, these guys are just weird. As honestly, I was under the assumption that she was only being spoken about by Nyx without her consent, despite how I felt about her negligence. But she openly engages with Veer's sexualization of children here, where he is discussing writing NSFW fanfiction of two children in the chat who were younger than Crystal at the time, around 12 years old. Instead of being a normal, sane adult who would find this disgusting, Jackie just laughs along. How old is Jackie at this time? Well, they said adults, so. I feel like if I blame blah, blah, Link had sexual experience with another woman, same Link. She'd just hardly bash, harshly bash her own face into the woman's crotch over and over. Uh, it's too early for this beer. Uh, it's never too early. I believe this is something I mentioned before. Uh, you see how Jackie's saying it's too early for this beer? Like, it's a recurring thing that happened in the chat, then bring up weird stuff like that. It's like I was saying them before, you know, if we saw, like, three different screenshots or two different screenshots of Veer just saying wild stuff, and we've seen many screenshots of Veer just saying wild stuff in general, and they were on a group chat in this 2017 group chat, that means Jackie and Nyx were all around this talk for a long time and still didn't say anything or expose them, and then they also, in 20 whatever it was, didn't get Veer out of the gosh dang mod team, they didn't really push for it, just mentioned it. You know what I'm saying? And then also Artsy was in there as well, I believe. So there are probably some Artsy chats going up in that Skype too. I'm not sure about that one, but I'm just saying they were around it and nothing was said. And so Crystal had a spark to flame once again, as I say. And I bring Artsy up because remember Artsy got into the Underverse server and the mod team and Nick said they didn't know them. Which you could have forgotten, but you did also get documents showing that it was a groomer and still let them stay in there. And for your second offense of letting the cycle continue, of you just not pushing for groomers to get out of a server. Then my fanfiction is writing Jackie a necrophiliac. Oh yeah, hold up. I am that already. Okay. Well, in the same writing. She also is found laughing along with Veer about these two kids having intercourse, going as far as to make sexual innuendo about these two young minors herself. There are also multiple times where adults in this chat discuss lollycon in front of these kids or show images from it, as well as adults enjoying being shipped with children that's freaking crazy bro wow in the bottom of the bottom with the link one wow and one of the adults link flirting with the approximately voice is sexy Ugh. 12 year old orange at the time there is also a part where nick sends a sexually suggestive clip and then when l the minor discussed prior warns them that there are children in the chat Nix and Veer both agree that These children have done worst. Trust me. <sighs> yeah. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. Dang. Yo, if this whole world is a simulation... <laughs> I'm not gonna get to that yet. I'm not gonna get to that. But you know what I'm saying? If it is, I'm just saying, bro. Child predators be saying the same lines, my boy. Child predators be saying the same lines. These children have seen worse. It doesn't matter. Like, bro. It's like they're all linked in together, low key. The only time I really found this chat without any of these weirdo adults in it was, to no surprise, when these small kids who were made to be moderators of Camilla's Discord and Amino had porn spammed in the servers and had to rely on each other to deal with it. Not a single adult rethought about what position they put these kids in. Because why would they? They were already being sexual around and towards these children after all. 
These chaps are just vile and I'm disgusted. Camilla knew about Veer collecting CP since 2017 and did nothing about it. Jackie and Veer laughed along about children as young as 12 having sex for their own sick enjoyment. And Nick sat back and encouraged these kids to draw smut. Are we- are we supposed to believe these people were all the victims? Crystal has had a chance to share what they had experienced, what adults around them encouraged, what abuse they endured, and all of the manipulation and bribery and threats that they've had to face from every grown adult that wanted to keep their gross past hidden and sound like heroes to the public. Through researching all of this, I wouldn't- I like what they said right there, that want to sound like heroes to the public and keep their gross past hidden. Because how Nick's be coming out and how he be like trying to- save Giles and all this he is trying to act like he a hero like he batman like he really protecting someone right now and their image which is Giles. sometimes you gotta admit defeat you gotta admit when you was wrong and that's the way you become a hero you know what i'm saying get out of that guy, guy's dang darkness you was in bro flop sides you feel me so this situation has been hard to look into the undertale community has had a severe issue with predation and abuse of young people and it extends right into suicidal manipulation to keep victims quiet about that's crazy, bro, because I'm in the Undertale community now, kinda, you feel me? Like, we here. And all this got to me. Most like I was just reacting to Glitch Tail a while back, and you know what I'm saying? Underverse and all that. I didn't know about none of this until now, and now I'm just like, dang. It really is prevalent if it gets all the way to me. Because, <laughs> like, who am I? I'm just here. I'm just a guy. <laughs> and it gets to me, and now I'm making videos on it. Like, that's how prevalent this situation is, bro. It's, it really is reaching out there. Dang. About what they've experienced. This situation isn't drama, and never was. If we've gotten to the point that the Undertale community will only pay attention when the likes of Nix and Jackie derail a situation about grooming that they themselves were complicit in to make it a drama over disagreements between adults not knowing what a commission is, then we've let them win. Nix and Jackie very well may have been done dirty by Camilla. I know I've been in the past. I don't know, but based on the Skype history, I honestly do not care. Every single member of these chats enabled the predation of several minors, and in the end, they were all either caught grooming specific victims themselves, caught bullying and manipulating children, or, like Nix and Jackie, only coming out about it when it serves them to sound like true victims. Of course, only doing so if it means they'll get zero scrutiny, and if they do, well, just suicide bait the victims into defending them publicly, right? Dang! Really let him cook! Yeah. With that all out of the way, this has never been about clout or sounding like some hero or taking down some bitchy YouTuber. From the start mm. and until it ends, this is about the victims. This is about calling mm. out the people who harmed them. Are we in the conclusion? We are, I knew it, bruh. They spitting, they spitting. I'm gonna say something that's gonna make some people upset here. We gonna wait though, let me hear the rest of this. People who enabled their pain, the people who threaten and silence them, all of them. I'll have my DMs open on Twitter at that rebel Rosie, as well as my account Hopeless Peach YT. If anyone who's been mentioned in either of these videos have harmed you in any way, there's a space to reach out. And when you do, there's gonna be a video dropping, baby. <laughs> as there should be, though. As there should be. You feel me? If if they want you to, I'm sure if you tell them don't drop a video, you know, Peaches will like, you know, what I'm saying, talk to you about it and whatnot. And I'll see you around. All right, bro. Like I said, I'm going to say something that some of y'all ain't going to agree with. If you heavy on one side of the situation right now and you taking sides and you heavy on one side, some of y'all ain't going to agree with me right now because I know how one of, you, one of these sides is feeling with what I'm about to say. I know, I know you ain't going to agree with me with what I'm about to say. If you close that one-sidedness of your mind right now and really watch this video all the way through, put your gosh dang favoritism aside... Put, put everything aside and just really listen to it and watch it. Look at the screenshots. Look at what Peach is saying. Do they go crazy a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Press very hard on the situation on top. But yes, they do. But they still present some facts or, you know what I'm saying? It's some evidence, okay? So what you're about to hear from me is going to upset a lot of y'all. And that is, I'm not mad Peach has made this video. And I do believe it was needed. We saw screenshots in this stuff from the 2017 thing. Which can be covered up, and Nix and Jao and ja Jackie, you know, Jao, uh, can, they can be saved, okay? If they just simply apologize. That was all the way back in 2017 when some crazy was happening, when you saying some crazy jokes with the grooming going on. That was back in 2017. Um, when we got past that point, when y'all wasn't doing them jokes and stuff, we didn't see screenshots of any of those jokes. 
we got to the point where it's Nyx now. Now it's Nyx. And Nyx is over here trying to play both sides. And in doing so, the Crystal Flame side that, that she was also trying to play at the same time as the Camilla one, getting your paycheck from Camilla, definitely is going to lower and fall because you're neglecting, the, needing to get Vera out of that server and show that you know care about the victims. Uh, that side's going to continue to fall. You can't play both sides. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Just apologize. That was it. Say, hey, man, I did, I, I know what I did. I, you know what I'm saying? I only mentioned, I did mention it, but it wasn't enough. And I did not push and press for you to get out of here. I did not put enough action to get those things, uh, to get the to get the victims heard, you know, get their side out. I didn't do that. And uh, I was I was scared of not being paid enough by Camilla and not getting my paycheck and whatnot. Just say, just be honest, say that. Say that. Be honest and say that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're wrong and you acknowledge you're wrong, then we understand that you can now move on to the path of being a good person. Now that that was not said, well, I don't know if it was yet. We're going to see when I look at the Twitter because we still got the Twitter to go to. We're going to see if they can right these wrongs. The wrongs I'm saying they need to right right now is the stuff they said in the past in 2017. Nyx needs to take some accountability for not exposing Veer and are not pressing to get Veer out of the server and not pressing to, you know, help out the victims more. And as they just stood by and just got their pay checked and just mentioned it slightly and let things fly by. They know exactly what they was doing, especially with the fact they try to make that statement and, and, and uh, side with Crystal and whatnot. And, and as P just said, look like the hero. I'm not going to say they try to look like a hero. They did try to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? We were affected by Camilla too. Don't come at us. You feel me? He was doing that. So he definitely has to know a little bit of what he did. And he's definitely was trying to protect Jael. You saw that. You saw this, the, t the text. He said, if this gets out, I don't know what anything bad to have Jael. You feel me? So you saw the text. They, he knows. He knows what's going on. All right, and he knows how he didn't completely commit how he should have, um, due to the money he wanted or whatever it was from Camilla. So that's the two things we need. We need an apology about stuff to say in 2017, and we need Nick's to understand that and acknowledge how he didn't do enough for the victims. That's the two things we need to hear from these Twitter tweets. If we don't hear the second one, I don't know how to feel about still watching Underverse and doing reactions to it. Because if I do a reaction, it's supporting the development and the creators because it's paying them in their livelihood, okay? That's something that needs to be understood for everyone. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about number two if that doesn't get acknowledged. I will leave a like on this video as well. This stuff was needed to be said, all right? Whatever side you're on, it is what it is, but you also need to acknowledge this stuff did need to be said. Quick thoughts that came to me. Uh, it makes sense why Crystal was very upset, by the way. They had a good right to be. Freak, I just lost the thought. You know, Nick said they would do something they did not. You know what I'm saying? They just half to have job that I guess you could say, you know, a half attempt. Uh, didn't just just threw the do the uh, qu uh, question along like, hey, do we really want a groomer in the server? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, Chris has the right to be upset. Uh, Peaches, on the other hand, also has the right to make this video. You see what happened in their past with how they said there was a groomer, uh, you know, saying that affected them, of course. And uh, when they brought it up, the whole community mocked them. And, you know what I'm saying? The parents what they say beat them or something or hit them and uh the groomer got away uh so of course peaches is gonna want to do their best to get anyone that was involved in a groomer situation that didn't acknowledge the person that was the victim and didn't speak up for them and help them out of course peaches is gonna want to give the like let people know hey this person did not help out this victim in this time something needs to be done about that you know what i'm saying expose them ex essentially so yeah they both have the right to do what they did i believe um and I respect it as well. But now let's see if any of the apologies were given or if anything has been mended from, you know, saying the two things we mentioned earlier. Let's check out Twitter. We're going to start right to left on my little tabs here. I don't know if I have them in correct order of time and date, but I'm going to just show it on the screen. You see today is 10, 13, 2023 at 6, 7, 16 p.m. We're recording this. Uh, I think we started at like six or something. I don't It's been two hours or something. I don't know how long it's been. All right, we have a tweet by Nick. You are such a liar. Anybody who speaks... Chilling can testify that this says if Crystal wants to talk, it's not my concern, but I'm not going to defend idiots. OK, so this is something when we see this in the video already, because I remember seeing this already uh, disappointed in Crystal participating in this. This was made at October 7th, which was only some days ago, a week ago. Uh, this is Rebel. Uh, this is a screenshot they took. You can actually follow um, my Camilla Cuevas glitched up video coming out today. Here's a sneak peek. Next is chill January 2021. Tells Camilla that he doesn't care about Vera being around children, nor cares how Camilla acted. Only that he won't cover uh, for them if it gets out. Well, technically from the other screenshots, we saw that Nyx was also like, hey, we probably shouldn't have this person in there. 
Uh, but then they also just went along with their stuff as well, so, you know what I'm saying, not the best. Um, also, yes, I am following Nyx, if you see that right there. I am following Nyx and Giles still because I did not get to see the situation yet. I'll determine what happens once we're done with these Twitter posts. October 7th. You know what's the worst part? The screenshots from a GT server chat where I'm calling Camilla out for not doing anything about the situation. When, when, when are you calling them out? Hey, we shouldn't have... Uh, someone in here, but hey, it's up to you guys. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> hey, we should have this guy up in this room. Hey, I'm gonna stay. <laughs> That's crazy to hear, isn't it? <laughs> we shouldn't have this evil person in the room with us, but even if they are here, I'm still gonna stay and chill with y'all, though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, gosh dang, man. This is the last time I will address the situation regarding Crystal Flame. Oh, to hold Google Doc. Okay, now we're getting to the Google Doc Nick's made. See if he's still in Batman mode. My story with Crystal Flame. This will be my final response to the whole GTC situation. This is the only thing I want to clarify is my relationship with Crystal Flame. For the people who aren't in Underverse server, Crystal was our head mod and one of the closest friends since 2021. And thanks to them, the server was able to be a safe place uh, for people and a community filled with terrible people. And we are certainly thankful for that. For us, Crystal was someone who trusted blindly. Uh, if they said we messed up, we accepted it, it tried to make it better. It took, if they took a decision, we respected and followed it. I don't like where this is going, by the way. Which is why I have the need to address the situation based on our experience with Crystal. As I addressed in my two previous threads about this whole situation, link one, link two. We saw the post from 2022. I don't really care too much. Oh, I did like these, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, I did like these junks. What, what the heck? Oh, this is from way back. This is from way back when he was, uh, you know, defending Crystal and that quote unquote. It's come to my attention someone has leaked screenshots from a Skype chat that is almost eight years old and I feel the need to address it. <laughs> what a jump cut. Versus around 21 at the time and I'm from Chile. If you don't know, if I don't know if you will be surprised by this, but we are extremely misogynistic and it, you use extremely sexual language. We use slurs and then you're just grouping everybody in Chile together and say you guys all do that? Look through more developed lenses, we just suck. Why are you grouping everybody together and with you? Some people probably aren't like that there, I don't know. But hey, you know, I don't, I don't, know, I don't live there, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Of course, are completely different. To me, using this kind of language back then was completely normal. Around that time, okay, what language are we talking about? Because I did not, I'm not seeing what you're saying. Can you drop a gosh dang photo for us, Nix? Around that time, I was moved to the U.S. for a oh, freak me, bro. This video, this recording's gone so long, I'm about to just stop not caring about, like, what the freak I say. And the, my pure thoughts are just going to come flying out. I'm not censoring anything to help anyone's emotions at this point. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to be really blunt coming up soon. And that's where I noticed the cultural clash. I lived for months, uh, minorities, that really changed my views on my culture. Uh, I haven't used that language since then, and I can say that an episode of my life left a while back i'm not the same person i was back then okay so they're acknowledging they're acknowledging what they said in the 2017 stuff in fact i addressed it shortly on my last story when i started to get pushed around for becoming a snowflake and not wanting to use slurs so with this context in mind i want to address the elephant in the room and it was a it was who was in that chat i saw in some screenshots you can see via sexual language around minors blah 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 uh, there's the chat myself included not saying anything about it. I can't talk for the rest of the people there But for me at least that was completely normal. We just suck having sexual language centered around just... Okay, so he's just Hey, brother, it's just chilly man. Chilly did it to me man. Sorry, man <laughs> He is acknowledging uh, that he himself does suck. I'm not saying everybody in Chile does but he is acknowledging that he sucks Let's uh, ignore how he's involving the whole thing of Chile So for me back then seeing this was just another conversation for school or college My present day self can see that the use of this anger is inappropriate and should never be used around minors okay, Acknowledgement right there. Some people are implying that I should have acted up and called them out for this behavior but the truth is i had no way to do that in my culture that was normal in my culture you cannot really do anything to someone if you're using that language around my shut the heck up it's a freaking skype vc chat bro it's a, it's a it, not vc chat it's a freaking skype chat you need to get arrested if you say something <laughs> you're gonna get arrested if you say something buddy hey you shouldn't say that beer the authorities are being called at your house right now you know what i can say about kids okay <laughs> Like, bro, what the freak you talking about, dog? At this time, we also didn't know Veer was a groomer. All of his allegations came to me years later. I'm sure you can picture from what Veer was saying that he there was something weird about him. Okay, let's not act like there wasn't, okay? I come from a culture that was extremely dangerous language and blah, blah, don't really care. They are, they're saying all this stuff, and but they are acknowledging at the same time. They're giving... <laughs> Like, hey, this was my country, but I do acknowledge that I shouldn't say this. But giving excuses and just say sorry, buddy. Uh, I don't care about the excuses. 
This is something I never addressed publicly because I left it so far behind. And I, t I told you, I'm just gonna be very blunt right now. The video's been on going on for a while, alright? Nix and Jayo, if obviously they apologize and, you know, for everything and start becoming better people. I mess with them, you feel me? I'll mess with them, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I gave my shout-outs at the beginning of the video to Jayo, alright? And uh, Nix for also letting me react to their stuff as well. I gave my shout-outs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but at this point, with what I've seen, bro... Let's straighten it up, dog. Let's straighten it up, bro. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying this as an enemy. I know I may be blunt with my language, like I said. I'm just saying, let's train it up, for real. Something I never addressed publicly because I left it so far behind, and the people who know me from back then, I haven't been that kind of guy for so long. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I want to address another thing that involves my precious threat about GTC, my abuse experience, and how I feel. It's to a point of that, it didn't come across uh, clearly on that thread. I talked about a victim told me about their experience with Veer. But ask me not to say anything, citing fear and backlash, okay, and said, I'm just saying anything, blah, 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 we went through that in the video with the peaches, uh, so, what's up? I wanted to be extremely clear, I should have done more. Boom! 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 Oh my gosh, brain blast! But hold on, let's continue. I'm extremely sorry for not doing so, and I will always have to live with that consequence of my inaction. I really thought this was clear from the other thread. But if it wasn't, here I am reaffirming it. Okay, this was said in August though, bro. Why is there still back and forth happening? Is it because the video dropped? You came back and said some more? People have been throwing at my face the fact that I should have called the police. The truth it until Crystal did it themselves. I have no idea this was valid of course of action. It didn't even cross my mind. I don't know how cops work on the first world country, but here in Chile, they are useless. <laughs> Here we go again. Yo, I don't know anything about Julie, but I'm just saying, some of the sake keeps throwing the whole God's dang country in. My own two experiences with them have been absolutely terrible, and it's notoriously known that sexual and domestic abuse calls here often end in nothing and usually end in someone dying. But with that, with this said, once again, I'm sorry. They did acknowledge that they didn't do enough. That's what I was looking for. Even though they gave like a whole bunch of trash excuses and you know, talking about the police, like you literally just exposed them online. That's all you really needed to do at the, at, the, at, the, at the very least, you know? Best person I can say is Light or Blair. Also don't talk to Holly. She's fell so far in severe BS and was the one who leaked and cropped my PMs and started all the chains. But yeah, that all I can speak of. Just please don't mention me. I've had to, way too many breakdowns from this. Will not, thank you, good luck next to you you're gonna need it this person's going down thank you so they're trying to say they didn't say anything or push it because crystal said please don't mention me i'd like to have a flashback moment here to the beginning of the video where i said you guys are gonna see this in the future and it was about how many times we saw crystal bring up the situation to nix about getting via the server even if they did say that to them, you know what I'm saying? Say, don't mention me. They still literally list a whole bunch of victims up top before they said that. So they could give ammo for Nyx to use, I'm sure. So that they could go and get find a way to get uh, Veer at the server. And we saw how Nyx ended up bringing it up saying, hey, there's he's a groomer. He's in the server. So if anyone finds out, uh-oh. But hey, it's up to you guys. So yeah. There's that. It doesn't really matter what Crystal said right there with everything else we know that they've said in the past. And also, from what it seems in the screenshot, it looks like they gave them some options. So, yeah. I'll speak over myself right now since I'm not saying much. Right here, I'm pretty much thinking like, uh-oh, what's happening? Crystal did say, don't say anything. But obviously, this is before I went back and edited this video like I'm editing it now. And I see everything once again. You know, it all comes back full circle. 9-17-2021. What were those screenshots we saw from 2022 where they were still talking? And Crystal was kind of like, hey, what's going on here? Why'd you not say more? After this, Camilla didn't talk to me until October. I had talked over the phone due to some work stuff, but she refused to do anything about Veer, Little Cell Channel, along with the other people uh, for remaining of the year. And what followed next year, my chats with Camilla became completely work-related. She never talked about Veer again. We stopped talking with Crystal in the DMs, mostly stuck to sharing in the server as they were head mod. I might, I might be missing something here, but it looks like Crystal's asking for like any news on the situation, on what happened, on like if they're doing anything. And then Nyx just replies with Merry Christmas. Maybe <laughs> sometime later. I might be misinterpreting this wrong, though. I could very well be misinterpreting this wrong. And maybe they're saying any news about anything in the channel. Or, you know, for stuff moderating and whatnot. But I don't know. Just making you aware of my side on how Camilla downplayed my trauma is coming out. I mean, this right here should tell you more than enough when literally Crystal is making a video 
saying my side on how Camilla downplayed my trauma is coming out. Them literally saying that they're speaking up about trauma Camilla's done should be enough for Nyx to say something. In October 22, Crystal came out with their abuse story and how they were groomed by uh, Veer. How Camilla downplayed all their abuse. Yeah, I saw a Twitter that I'm going to retweet it, but give me like a day to think on it. Oh, yeah. See, it's up. Boom. There you go. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. Boom, there you go. That's like what we saw in the video. They said this and then they said give me a second to think on it because I might lose my bread <laughs> Okay, Nyx. Well, I mean, there you go. I mean you showed the gosh dang screenshot on your own duck Thank you, Nyx. It means the world to me. That retweet means I'll lose half of my income So I gotta weigh on it a little bit. We'll be releasing the video over here tomorrow a few weeks after this in November 2022 I decided to confront Camilla and the entire GCC the mod channel informed Crystal of this and gave them an hour worth of screenshots showing that the entire mod team was rotten. Shortly after this, I was removed as an admin. Okay. Yeah, we know that happened. Do you understand the public are going to react? Yeah, I'm not part of the echo chain right on you click lick or to lick boots. You don't want to lick boots, but you was staying in that mother sucker for the paycheck. Would you like Rosie's Discord tag by chance? You can send her mine if you want. Just giving you a heads up that Rosie sent you a friend request. Yo, what's up? I've been okay, so right here, this right here, where they had to give a heads up. Okay, a day later, all right. It's only been a day, not too crazy. Yo, yo, what's up? I've been speaking to Rosie recently. Oh, how's that been going? Don't know. I just told her what transpired on the past few years and the context behind it. I was curious, even since I gave her your tag, she has been awfully aggressive towards me, to be honest. Really? She's blaming me for not doing anything because I was an adult when all this happened. Uh, but you did, you told Camilla so many times. Wait, what screenshots am I missing that he especially told Camilla to get this guy out of the server? Because I, I saw screenshots of him mentioning it like, hey, you should probably get this guy out of the server. Why do I see a screenshot of Crystal saying, you told Camilla so many times? Seeing this now, it's kind of irrelevant to that, you know, this is even brought up because at the end of the day, even if he did bring it up to Camilla, which he probably did, and he was probably like, you should probably just get them out. He probably didn't say, get them out or I'm leaving because he never left, right? Right, guys? Really wake up, he never left. And he never exposed them, once again, until Crystal had to openly say something, he didn't expose them. And it's not because Crystal said, hey, don't say anything, because Crystal was literally waiting for something to be said, saying any news and whatnot. It's just because he wanted to keep his job, get his money, and flow things by. And when Crystal was going to make a gosh dang scene, he was like, hold up, let me not get caught in the crossfire, let me act like I'm on Crystal's side, and always was, even though years have passed by and I'm still in this server <laughs> with these groomers and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all get the point. And I know I'm pressing hard on Nyx here in this post-editing thing, but it's because when I went back and looked at all this one more time, too, while I'm editing it right now, it just all makes so much freaking sense of how bad Nyx was, was going about this thing, bro. Uh, so it's just hard not to. But uh, at the same point, uh, once again, you know, they, they still can be forgiven if they acknowledge these things, right? But let's not act like you wasn't just chilling there for the money at the same time, you know? I got to call it out, bro. Yeah, I got to call it out for what I'm seeing it as. This is this where things began to go really wrong. Hope speech is a me and blame me for covering up Veer. After this, we tried to remember what had happened in Crystal. But a timeline of events, I could swear up until this point that I was told that I shouldn't speak up. But from rereading all the chat logs I had with Crystal and the censored victim, what really happened was that Crystal themselves told me they didn't want any more heat on them until they went public. And they, they told me about the censored victim, as you can read. From the other screenshots, I only approached the censored victim after they called out Crystal for leaking their identity. It does seem like Nyx overall, even with what I'm reading right here, did take the leisurely way of not really saying much to Crystal and just bringing it up as he did nonchalantly because he was given the opportunity considering he really held on to that thing that Crystal said when Crystal said, don't mention me. When Crystal said that, Nyx was like, okay, let me just bring it up subtly, but it's not going to be too much of a big deal because Chris, at the end of the day, Crystal doesn't want me to mention them anyway, so... I don't really succeed in getting them out and I just throw it out in there, throw the idea in there. It's not going to be too bad of an outcome, you know, for me. And consistency is key with uh, understanding someone's character, guys. Yeah, even what Crystal says here, it looks like they really want Nyx to do something about it, right? Even though they said don't mention me, they're still telling Nyx to do something here, right? They're saying good luck, you're going to need it, you know what I'm saying? And then Nyx is obviously like, they're going down, like he's actually going to do something. And, he said, and then Crystal says, thank you, I appreciate that. And then Crystal, you know, the dialogue goes on. Crystal's kind of wondering, like, hey, Nyx, why aren't you doing anything? Any news? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah.
Yeah, then I'm not crazy. There were other victims and we spoke about this, just I'm the only one who publicly spoke out. And we spoke about how many of them didn't want to get exposed to all of this. So I'm not just imagining this right. I just feel some of the stuff I thought I knew about wasn't really true, or was getting stuff mixed. I don't want to tell Rosie because BS that didn't happen. Nyx is obviously trying to, he's, he's getting pressed by Rosie right now. Um, and he's talking to Crystal, like looking for help, like, hey, you, we both discussed that the victims didn't want to like people to know their story or anything. So I couldn't really do much there, right? We're both on the same page, right, Crystal? I couldn't do much there. Um, and obviously Rosie in the background, like, you should have done more. What the freak are you doing? You knew this happened. You didn't get them pushed to get out of the server, blah, blah, blah. So that's what's happening right here. We'll try to see if I can buy some miracle find already conversation with me but i don't think i can like i said keep in mind with cycles it's going to determine someone's character if it happens two times you know it's bad but if it happens three times it's solidified get out of here you know what i'm saying we're gonna see how many times it happens of course but right here we're seeing already being brought up already's going to be the next groomer that nix is going to be in a server with and decides to let them just stay in there okay so keep in mind what was about to happen because the time i was mentioning earlier in the video is about to go down okay it's finally coming and right now what peaches is doing and crystal's doing i don't know who's pushing the act really right now but what they're essentially doing is is checking to see if nicks talk to Artie, right if they've talked to them if they are aware of what Artie is who they are if they're a groomer if they're not which we will find out later on that nicks was sent a document uh proving that Artie was uh, a groomer and stuff and they read that junk and were just like hey well as long as they don't groom in our server we'll just let them stay up in here let's just keep a groomer in our server <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what the freak uh it's, it's pretty insane but uh, yeah, we kind of already got the proof for that, but it looks like Peaches and Crystal are looking to further dig into how much Nyx knows about Artie, you know what I'm saying? So they're kind of pushing that on him right now. So he's like, I'll try to find the logs with Artie. I don't know if I have too much though, you know, lost to time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's hit you guys yet, but we're literally looking at Nyx's document that they made to defend themselves. <laughs> and uh, we're literally finding leaks even within this, okay? And uh, like I said, that, that just shows how concrete the situation is. I told you guys when we go into this, we're gonna go in unbiased. We're gonna look at the screenshots for what they are. We're gonna keep tracking of the pacing of events we're gonna look at everything in the timeline okay we're gonna try to connect it all see what the flow is see where things happen which what see what the uh, attitude was in the, in the speech patterns in the screenshots we're just examining screenshots that's all we can do here from an outside perspective okay i'm not listening too much to the monitor or the the, the, the narration by peaches or by nicks we're looking at the screenshots we're at the timelines we get the attitude the context what's happening boom we're making a resolution and everything from these screenshots uh, Nick's, I don't know. It's not looking good, obviously, right? Because it looks like Crystal's literally saying, like, yo, thanks, Nix. You actually did help me out back then, even though Nix didn't do much of anything. <laughs> and then I think I think uh, Rosie sees that, or Peaches sees that Nix didn't do much of anything. And so Peaches comes and tells Crystal, and they're like, Crystal, they really didn't do much for you back then. Do you notice that, right? And Crystal's like, hold up a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then they go back and like, Wait, he didn't do much for me. Hold on a second. Nix, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> like bro what my mental health is really messed up three weeks ago a close friend from the smash community they had a closed casket ceremony they messed up okay so nicks had that they had their friend pass away and they still threatened crystal with that so suicide thing dang it's tough this was in 2023 i think the whole suicide threatening was in 2022 right Around this time, we're actually making plans to meet each other in London IRL. That's pretty cool. That would be nice. Let me know. Double check my flight. But I don't know why you pretended to be our friends for years. What the freak? <laughs> What's this jump cut in the screenshot? It's just kind of kind of crazy. What? I don't know why you pretended to be our friends for years. You had yours years to talk with us and say whatever you wanted to say we wanted to help you and you did the best we could in our state confided in you with stuff that i never told anyone else in the world jackie is so puzzled right now she can't make sense of the situation if you had something against us you could have told us we really did try our best after crystal exposed these screenshots to their friends they stopped replying to us and instead started venting their personal server people who were started linking the screenshots and acted as a way of communication while that whole situation unwrapped. The only thing we can assume here from the flip up and how Crystal apparently from what Nix's document says just stopped messaging Nix is that Crystal found or realized uh, Nix did really nothing to get Vera out of the server and then also must have realized the thing with them having Artie in their new uh, Underverse server or whatever in the mod team when uh, even after he saw the document of why they shouldn't have them in there and that they were a groomer. We can only assume that Crystal realized both of these things or found out the Artie thing or something like that happened and that's what caused the switch up. 
Because there's not just going to be a switch up that happens for absolutely no reason, especially when Peaches is over here investigating Nyx at the same time, right? And then something gets found up or found out, you know what I'm saying? Having said all this, let's not forget about Jakey, right? Um, as you see, I haven't said anything much about them at all. And that's because I don't think uh, they were too aware of everything. I mean, Jackie and Nyx are, like, married now, right? So they must have known something, right? Like, Nyx probably vented to them. But they weren't literally told to or asked to do anything of Crystal that we saw in any type of screenshot. So if you want to put blame on someone, we can put it on Batman over here that's been trying to defend Jackie the whole time. <laughs> we can put it on Batman over here who got jokered uh, by freaking Peaches. Um, we can put it on them. Um, so when it comes to my judgment with Jackie, I currently, as I'm editing this right now, I don't know what I'll say in the future of the video, but I guess we'll see then, right? But as you can see, if Jackie just simply apologized for the stuff they were involved in, like, with 2017, right? Then I can obviously forgive that easily. It's like a one-strike thing. Uh, we're seeing Nick's going into a two-strike soon, though. We're still waiting for the RDE screenshots to show you guys, but as you can see, I'm letting you guys know some information about it. You'll see the screenshots soon enough. And when I say the Jackies, I can easily forgive. I probably shouldn't phrase it like that, but they're just not doing as bad as Nick's is doing right now. I should just say it like that. Like, obviously, Jackie's seen the stuff. They were in the 2017 chats as well, and they didn't say anything. Uh, but obviously, Nick's is pushing a little crazier. You can stop being high schoolers and just talk like adults. And by adults, instead of running away like Camilla, reply to us directly, like we asked you. Also, I think I react, reached my limits when it came to open letter without noticing at the time. I should have handled myself better with what I was going through, take a step back, reflect on things, giving me time to speak with you and Jackie, and just working things out. What is going on for me mentally? Got Tris to take your time, take care. Thank you, we'll do the same to you next. Okay, I think a mental breakdown just happened or something. I don't know. It certainly looks like from the, the screenshot pathing. Nyx from their document is making it look like Crystal just snapped and made a document and then reclaimed and came back and was like, oh, my bad. I kind of freaked out there, had a mental breakdown and post that. I should talk to you guys first or something like that. Purpose of this document was to show without manipulation my entire message history with Crystal so you can make your own mind about the situation. Well, you missed out this whole switch up right here. I wanted to see what happened between here and here, but we can continue. I personally never felt like I was manipulating Crystal or using them for anything. Crystal was honest to God, a good friend, and uh, everything is over. This was why I reached out to them and Vera reached out to them when Vera was unbanned from the Glitch server. You can see the timestamps. Well, there's a kind of a differential in the timestamps. It was like a three month span, I think we summed up from the video. I just can't understand at all why it would go to a rant on Twitter how me and Jackie use them as a weapon. This is honestly mind-boggling. Crystal has been claiming we just used them to get rid of Camilla. From what I've seen so far, I wouldn't say that. It just looks like Nyx was just not really trying to uh, take action at all and let um, Crystal take the action, and then they just rose at the same pace that Crystal rose at. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what it's looking like. So I wouldn't say uh, Nyx used them to get rid of Camilla. I'm sure Nyx wouldn't have mind just continuing on and just not saying anything besides slightly mentioning the groomers and continued on getting money from helping Camilla. I'm sure he wouldn't have mind to keep doing that. Uh, but Crystal raised the bar and started exposing and applying pressure and you know what I'm saying, boom, things happen, baby. I brought down Camilla Cuevas. With Camilla Cuevas out of the picture, freak Nyx and Jackie, they could have done something, but instead they're just as bad as all the others. Jackie has nobody to counter her with animations. I said so early on to you and Light that I hate it when people use me as a weapon that I would never stand for it, yet Nyx used me as one. In every single way, it was beneficial for them to get rid of Camilla. Crystal, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you weren't as an asset or a weapon to me. You were just our friend. I don't know what kind of person you became, but to me, the downfall of Camilla is not something I need to see. I needed someone to help me on. He ain't wrong, guys. He didn't need help because he didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Like Camilla, to me, was someone that did a lot of damage. Jackie is never was never in competition with Camilla. The fact that Claiming that we removed Camilla out of the picture as nobody was uh, animation is just insane. For the past months, we've seen you claim the most outlandish stuff, even bringing back Artie's situation, implying I covered up for Artie, even when I showed my logs with her. I can only imagine the proof Nyx has in his DMs of Camilla. Okay, guys, so I think what we're seeing here is some stuff that is going to be exposed to us once uh, Crystal actually drops her video. Sadly, I think, and we haven't even went through the rest of the tweets, sadly, I think we've reached a dead point, guys. But not actually. There's still the Artie situation I've been telling you guys about since the beginning of this video that we're going to get into after this. We're going to find this uh, tw Twitter tweet. We'll continue reading and see if we see anything new that changes my mind, but I think I'm at, the, I think I'm at that rock right now, that hard wall. Crystal, I hope you 
can earn enough through the... Okay, so they're trying to support them, okay. Oh, fat screenshot I can actually read. Jackie, could you share this if it's okay? And there's a tweet. 500 pounds, are you sure? Like, honestly, that's so much. Okay, so Jackie's trying to get the money, don't worry. Thanks to both of you guys, I hit the goal real fast. The fact you claim that we used you is insane because after all this, the only one who feels used is me. The one who feels used is Jackie. This does look like a big switch up from Crystal. I cannot lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say how I see it in the screenshots alone. The screenshots are telling me that, yeah, there was a switch up here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that'll come in the video Crystal is planning on making. Don't know. I feel like I'm promoting Crystal's video at this point. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, tune into the next Crystal video because we're going to find some information that's really going to shake things up. First, I was around 21 at the time. Oh, dang. I just seen that, by the way. Just seeing that. Okay, okay. So there was 21 in all those chats. Holy freak. 21? 21? 21? Dang. Recently, Hopeless Peaches have kept harassing me and my husband with fake exaggerated arguments. Fake arguments? Every day she makes a post spreading rumors about how we are pedophiles and hiding rumors on our Discord server community, which are completely false. Oh, so Peaches is pushing towards the fact that maybe Crystal found out that there were still groomers in the Underverse server? And welcome to part two of Nick's allowing a groomer to be in the server. And that pushing hard to get them out, and even if they're in there, he doesn't decide to leave. Obviously, it's under verse server. He's not gonna leave this one, right? But he's not getting them out or taking that initiative. So let's see the screenshots that show Nix. Is that fault here? Even though Jackie is making this tweet, we're gonna see uh, screenshots around it with Nix. Since there are a lot of information I've posted on Nix to show and dropping those, I'm gonna keep it all in one place while the Google Drive is still working, are still being worked on. Interesting. Stop acting like you're the victim. You and your disgusting husband endangered kids in y'all servers by refusing to look at the evidence. Uh, in a not even long doc, you aren't being harassed. You're being called out and don't like the things you did. Uh, that's her stuff, not our concern. If she does something here, we can handle it. She doesn't do it here, so it's not our problem. Oh, freak. <laughs> Oh, dang, are they talking about Artsy? Is that why uh, Crystal got so mad? Because they figured out Artsy was in there? Oh, freak, guys. Okay, maybe we don't even need the Crystal video. She wants to make our makeup, give NSFW roles. That's on her, not us. But I think that's not the issue. It's the fact that we're allowing someone who did that in a server full of children, too. Mmm. She can't do it in here. She isn't even in that server anymore. Mart, you play games with Veer, and he groomed people a decade younger than him. I'm not even judging you for that. If you see, if I see any seeing something messed up happening, I will consider. Dang, freak. So Nyx is essentially just because, you know, because they haven't done anything bad in their server yet, they're just letting them exist. Oh, it's just like how we let Veer exist in the glitched hell server. Oh, dang. <laughs> Full circle, we're seeing a repetition. We're seeing a cycle here, dang. We were close to split. When we hit that wall, I, it was close for something, bro. I said Crystal had to bring something, and it looks like Crystal flipped the switch because they figured out Nyx has people on their server that were groomers, and they're letting them stay there. My God. And then Nyx is just letting it stay, just like they did with Veer. They did mention Veer, but they were just like, hey, if they're doing anything else, bad, you know, whatever. Mmm, dang, that's bad, bro. Dang, that's bad, bro. Dang. Dang. Party was unbanned. Okay, this is in 2022. Were all these from 2022? Part one, grooming. Already groomed a minor, uh, 15, 16. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, this is the document. It's so funny that you are sharing these screenshots from Mar, a known pedophile that requested pictures of a 13 year old when, which was exposed by Crystal. Here's a message from Crystal about the situation. Um, 2023, one six, okay. Upon revisiting, okay, so it's gonna be a thing about how strong, okay, it doesn't really matter. The, the fact is that I don't know what date this is. It says today, but they currently have a groomer in their server. That's the main thing here. And the fact that Nyx was sent that document, the one we saw at the part one, and still didn't take any action. The fact that you are weaponizing posts from a pedophile because two of the mods themselves were groomed by Artie, so we weren't able to deal with the situation objectively makes you look like complete scum. Didn't know Mart was a pedophile, first of all, but that doesn't downplay you letting Artie Chan into your server that has Myers in it even after looking at the callout document about them. Dang! The only reason we didn't ban Artie is because she was Crystal and Pingu's ex, and we assumed if they knew something was off, we would have known. 
Turns out Artie lied about her age and actually grew both Pingu. But Crystal told you that, no? Didn't Crystal tell you that? And Crystal said it in their video too, didn't they? That Artie groomed them? And then you were like, yeah, man, retweet. And then you still let them in? I could be messed up with the timing of the events here, but it's a little sus. Let's move on. Here's Giles back to back to back tweets right here. Okay, here we go from the initial tweet. Even since I cut off contact from the people from the GTC and their Skype group, we have focused on growing up as a person. And thanks to that, we were able to keep our Discord server and community a safe place for people of all ages claiming otherwise is just invalid. It's invalidating all the hard work people like Crystal and Pingu have done to keep our community safe. We always try to help our mod team and offered up to support. We never forced them to expose or to or expose them to situations they didn't want to handle. Also, to find out, Nix and Jackie, Jackie were uh, teaching their Myers mods that adult sending to kids is okay. So disturbed, I want to vomit. I guess they're referring to how they kept a groomer in the server. They're just like saying that off the side. None of us were prepared for the six people we had to confront over the years, but we together able to take actions against them. Hollis Peter is obsessed with us, claiming that every action we take is to hide something or something she's trying to science us. I would love to know why Jakey Animations about Vanillas was talking about finishing, to put it mildly, onto the bodies of two minors in this, these chats. These kids were below the age of 15 years old. Jakey was 21 years old in these chats. Okay, so there's the age check for the chats. All right, and this was in 2017. This is how I found out I was blocked by her. I don't even know what I did interact with you, I guess. She's been blocking a lot of people who interact with my Twitter then. Telling her Discord nothing is going on. And she's innocent and sad and wants money. Then, But then Giles obviously like commenting on these things, so. Um, what did you say? The with the says she completely ignores the abuse I had to endure. Oh, I freak <laughs> oh oh no she's pulling a camilla where she's like you don't know what i went through jow does admit no right she has gone to the extent of saying i announced under 0.7 part 2 to hide something when i planned to oh yeah this is where it was getting spicy y'all so it just happened like yesterday i'm suspicious that when i posted my video exposing jackie for doing all that stuff to children she suddenly announces her animation yeah uh bro streaming right now uh this is the kind of the toxic part of the stuff bro when i see people get exposed and whatnot it's kind of the toxic part where people come out and start making a whole bunch of jokes and whatnot and then they still like hey yo look at coming to streaming i'm gonna come through say something crazy all right look at uh, now they're saying look at jail stream and come through say something crazy you feel me um you know what I'm saying? that's kind of kind of the toxic part you know what I'm saying? you beating a dead animal while they down and whatnot it's like you messed with them hard you gotta know, let them get, let them get a laugh off or something you know what i'm saying in return i'm not gonna get too much into that but yeah does this mean jackie is also a bad person um are there literally no undertale creators who are decent people yeah sadly it seems so peaches said this is absolutely horrendous i expected better from Jackie and Nix. Wait, one of these guys commented in my comment section. I don't think it's in this thread, but one of them did. <laughs> and I'm gonna show it because I thought it was funny. <laughs> this is absolutely horrendous. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I cannot believe they're really gonna participate in quite quit social media altogether and go seek therapy or some stuff. I wish I could direct you to some art articulate response for them both, but Jackie, she responded by not responding and instead of hiding the information by being super vague, calling it drama and announcing her animation. Nix, he's been on Twitter calling everyone out, calling him racist. <laughs> yeah, Peaches makes, Peaches makes it sleep like Nix is just delusional. <laughs> I'm like, oh my. That joke is kind of funny. I'm sorry, but that joke is kind of funny the way Peaches just makes it sleep like they're just delusional. And then Jackie's just like, they're just not really acknowledging anything. Uh, I think Peaches is getting upset that they're not just, you know, fessing up and, you know, uh, apologizing and whatnot and just admitting to what they did. Uh, with Peaches, with the information Peaches has, apparently. Saying sexualizing kids is the culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as he never knew kids were chat despite screenshots proving otherwise, he said, not sorry. Yeah, so, reinstating stuff, you know what I'm saying? She had constantly made fun of my abuse of mental health as stayed completely silent about all the hate messages, including death threats that she and her community has sent over my ways, and, you know, that's, that's what's gonna happen, too. You know, when stuff like this happens, it's gonna happen. You're gonna wake up to something ferocious this morning. Hope your dreams were peaceful. Oh my goodness. You and your wife are scum, and I hope you both rot. Okay. Eduardo, I, I want Jakey to die so much, and right I want her to suffer much, and the universe uh, must be canceled right away. Thank you for showing this the truth. So, essentially, what Giles is doing right here, if you guys haven't picked on it, they're trying to make it look like the Peaches community is just toxic in general and completely, and that, hey, you, you know, you guys should watch out for Peaches. They're not that good. That's what Giles is doing right here with these quotes, and they're also just saying what, you know, what they've seen. Um, but obviously we know that doesn't speak for everybody in the community, in a community. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, Jao Petaloza. Okay, this is where this person actually commented it in our in our comment section. Um, hold on, where is it at? Do I have the thing up? I don't. Here we go. Look, Velkov was in our chat, bro. He's like, after seeing the Skype chat, Jao and Nyx are just hypocritical cowards. I didn't. You see, no, I didn't hard it or like it yet, because you know I had to see it. I had to see stuff for myself, right, before I just automatically side with someone because I like what they do or something, or I'm in love with their animation, or you know, cross exist and whatnot. You know what I'm saying I gotta look at it first, you know. Uh, you're blocked. Dang, they didn't like me. This is a, this is a common thing where they want to get blocked by the person, you know. Switch to our crew staff when they see minors. P.S. Hi, Joe Nix. I know you like you too. Dang. Whoa. 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 They got a list of here. Whoa. How Nixon showed the child predator. I need to see that, by the way. That's something we're gonna look at. These, this is some people that are mad, you know, coming out right now. So that's already cool with all these people on my server. I'm not ignoring one of them, but what i might have done in the past and i will always live with the remorse of being a of not being a better person from the start i will always live with that but i spent years trying to become a better person and fix my mistakes see this is the acknowledgement right here of what they've done right they don't specifically say what they did which you know you kind of wish they would right i'm not asking for the world to hate me i'm asking for people to stop harassing me for things that are knowledge people can change for the better we are not criminals we have no intentions to send hate to these people publicly and we have gotten so many threats and how to address it I don't know exactly what you want from me, Peaches, or what do you expect is going to happen, but this time is the last time I'll ask you to stop harassing us. I don't care if you hate me or Nyx. If you want the Undertale, holy freak. I just saw that below. If you want the Undertale community dies or whatever that's going through your head, I'm just asking you people to leave us alone. I'm just asking you and people you sent to leave us alone. Okay, I don't think they deliberately sent those death threats or anything, but yeah. Prove that Hopeless Peaches is spreading false, exaggerated videos in her campaign of harassment video when yeah, so. Actually. There are also multiple times where adults Chat logs are read from the bottom to top, yeah. ...in front of these kids, or show images from it. Okay, here Peaches is implying that Jakey is sending Lolicon to children around. Um, but if we go to the actual link... By the way, all of these links are public, because they are in the screenshot if you copy that. This is what you will get. I'm not kidding you. This is what Peaches is calling Lolico. Yeah, but then we see this picture in Peaches' video, and they were making jokes around this video. They can have a lot of blink with Betty Sands. Yeah, so they send that, and they say LMAO, and then Jackie also says they can have a lot of blink with Betty Sands. Like, they're not, you know, like, they're continuing on with it, saying, yeah, they can have that. Gone just a random meme about, about Betty. It's actually making fun of like people sexualizing Betty, so yeah. Also, oh, you're saying in the sense that they were saying that they were making fun of it, like trolling, even though this chat was full of like groomers and predators and all that. Okay, well, so I guess, I guess, I guess that's you know, we'll, we'll let that, we'll let that be something that's said. False information about how we were enjoying ships with children. We were laughing at Crash Bandicoot video. Not, and the screenshot is cropped out. This is actually the entire screenshot. Okay. Not like this combo, dear lord have mercy, I don't know why I like that crash. Uh, I actually did laugh at this later on in the conversation because of this part, Jake, Jackie X Nix. Oh, so this is all the ships Veer brought up, okay. Oh, so they're trying to say they was talking about something they was laughing at earlier in the chat, but this was also stated, so they're also, I mean, you were still in this group chat though and you saw this stuff being stated. I don't know if it matters too much about what you were laughing at exactly. Uh, but all right, whatever. Completely makes up the meaning of a pun and twist it into a depraved sexual joke that has no relation with what is our actually said. Here, where he is discussing writing NSFW fan fiction of two children in the chat who were younger than Crystal at the time, around 12 years old. Instead of being a normal, sane adult who would find this disgusting, Jackie just laughs along and jokes about being a necrophile in the same writing. She also is found laughing along with Veer about these two kids having intercourse, going as far as to make sexual innuendo about these two young minors herself. They're At this point, I think Peaches is projecting herself on whatever she's trying to read on this chat. Because at this point, Peaches claims that Jackie made an extremely sexual comment about two minors, which is completely false. For some context, Bread and Marmalade is referring to two different minors in the chat that were dating at the time. There's nothing sexual about the comment itself. I don't know who can just say that just making a pun about these two minors is equivalent to saying that one minor is coming out over the body of the other minor. That's, that's sick, dude. What the fuck is going through your head to make that interpretation? 
Okay, so this is the jam on jo on toast thing I was talking about earlier, where I said it was a crazy, crazy thing to to, to say, um, with the top with the toast and the jam or whatever. This is what I was saying earlier in our video today. If you even remember that, with how long it's probably been, um, which I thought was crazy as well. So, so much I can really say about this. I mean, I don't know the language of that so. comment. There's nothing sexual to that. In fact, if you keep scrolling the chat, it actually somebody makes a sexual pun later on, and it's a minor. It's a minor that's making a sex jokes about the other two minors, which again are related to marmalade and bread. I'm not trying to blame the minors here. What I'm trying to say is that JK did not make these comments. You are so disconnected from the situation, from what happened there with the people involved, you don't even know the names from them. So the first time you read about like a pun about names, you instead jump into the worst possible conclusion and just mm. put a completely made up meaning. The worst part is that Chris was the person that was involved on this knew the person is involved, knew their names. Pre I am pretty sure they knew about this pun. This is a pun on the people involved, and they edited your video. So if they knew about this, why did they let you spread this misinformation? They could have brought this up to you. They could have told you, hey, this is false. This is completely false. Who's talking right now, by the way? I have proven again and again that the way you're interpreting these screenshots is completely made up. So why did not Crystal bring this up? Please, I'm begging you, it's not hard to double check the info, there is people here involved. You're trying to ruin people's lives. Please stop spreading misinformation. <laughs> Alright, oh, that, that, uh, that's... that's. Mm, it's like they're giving us a different way to interpret these things. But at the end of the day, the screenshot is a screenshot, which is what we see, right? Well, as I like to say, I like to look at the screenshot for what it is and get all the extra audio out of my ears halfway i guess you could say <laughs> um but uh yeah they still were in a group chat with them and chilled with them for a long time with the jokes being made that were being made we've seen that clear as day with their when the stuff they've said and they're just chilling in there as well not pointing it out or saying anything then again i say this once again it was in 2017 if they admit fault and whatnot which they seem to continuous giles seems to continuously like admit fault but not be specific as to what um, you know what I'm saying? And they can grow for him and become better. I mean, that was just 2017, right? Her campaign of harassment that she remains silent about, making a funding campaign lying and bribing Crystal on a stream in which they threatened to rob our house with Leo while making an extremely racist remark about Nick's. Got in the hate we got in the past few weeks. Because, guys, we got so much hate. We got so many death threats. We got so many people unsubscribing from my Patreon and Jakey's Patreon. We got so many people just trying to start shit on the Discord server. So many people just going through every single one of our posts, quote tweeting them with calling me a groomer, calling Jakey a groomer and a pedophile. People just commenting bullshit on our videos, spamming uh, <laughs> hopeless speeches links. It was insane, guys. We got so much hate. She has something very personal against us. She has been posting daily harassment. Oh, is this Nick talking? That would make sense. They are Batman. She's claiming Jakey makes her post saving the, to the, silence yeah, her. Right silence her for what? We block her on Twitter. We don't want to see her stuff. We just we are just living our lives. But the hate we got, it's so big that she forced us to address these issues. She has constantly made fun of Jakey's mental health issues. Nick's let kids suffer and Jao abandoned them when they asked for help. All for Jao to use their experience in the in this post to talk about she how they feel. This is messed up. Okay, so Peaches is pretty much saying uh, Jao and Nick's abandoning them and Jao is just complaining about their past. To the extent of saying that I use Jakey's mental health to manipulate Crystal, which is completely fuck it up. Um, well, I mean, we saw the screenshots with that. There's not much you can really say about that, bro. There's not much you can really say about that, bro. I mean, we saw the screenshots on that one, man. They kind of speak for themselves on that one. <laughs> These people forced us to address it because they put it out in the public for the people to use it to attack us. These people claim that we bribed Crystal for giving them money for their therapy. And then these people made a stream trying to collect. Wait, hold up. Crystal is having to refund money they received for their therapy due to it being bribery money from Nix and Jao. Help them refund while still being able to afford the cost of therapy. All donations will be greatly appreciated. Wait, what? <laughs> hold up, hold up, Peaches. What? Hold on, Peaches. Hold on, Peaches. What? Hold on. Crystal is having to refund money they received for their therapy. Okay, so this must be when Nix and Jao 
wanted to donate them that 500 right the 500 and they're like this is so much money thank you it's gonna definitely help us reach the goal and then crystal obviously found out something which we still don't really purely know unless it's what i'm thinking it is which is the grimmer thing uh crystal finds this out and they want to refund the money because they're like no nah, they're bribing me with this money because i did you know what i'm saying there there's no way they really gave this to me with what they just done it's bribery money so that's what they just called it that's all there we go guys we got it okay they told their chat that they wanted to know where i live so they could rob my place what the fuck that was a messed up joke that made peaches <laughs> peaches that was a messed up joke come on now there's no way peaches was being serious by the way they're all about that law and orders type stuff the way they be making their gosh dang videos about the law and whatnot and been talking like a lawyer and whatnot there's no way they actually wanted to you know expose y'all's location it's probably just joking which was a very bad joke to make I will say, but uh, yeah, anyways. That I should have called the police. The truth, the truth it, until Crystal did it themselves, themselves. I have no idea that was a valid course of. <laughs> Look, they're laughing. Where does this guy live? I'm gonna go rob him. Oh, wait, actual stream of these people making fun of my English because, yes, they are also very racist. And claiming they want to rob my house. I don't live in the U.S. I am from Chile. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't say he was racist, so he's going to say it back, of course. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit of the, you know. He lives in the U.S. Because he'll never know he can call the cops if I rob him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of want to laugh, too. They're obviously joking, bro. They're obviously joking, bro. If you watched Peach's video, you know they're joking. But if you haven't watched Peach's video and you only watch Nick's and Jael, you're going to come through this and be like, I hate these guys. Look at them crossing lines and whatnot. But this is why we watch both sides, guys. And we've been under been able to understand both perspectives of this situation here. We've been pointing it out from both sides, as I've said. Throughout this whole thing, and it's a headache to do, but it's necessary. She's claiming that we are making up excuses and not taking accountability. This is also false. We have always owned up to our mistakes and we are deeply sorry. Which there was a way to make up. So please, we, we know what we did wrong. We fuck it up. We can accept that. We already accepted this. And for that, we are deeply sorry. We really are. We are really, really sorry. And that's why we have spent the last six years of our lives trying to make up for it and trying to become better human beings. I am not the same person I was six years ago. Jakey is not the same person she was six years ago. You have Jackie no idea how much we have changed and grown since then. I wish there was a way to make up for the stuff that we did wrong back then. But I feel there is nothing else for us to do other than apologize. So I'm going to say it one more time. We are deeply, deeply sorry. All right, there you go. They said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, guys. They said sorry. Uh, let's move on. Nah, but serious on a serious note, that junk was a while back, and uh, they obviously seem to be trying to do better. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm saying it's a grimmer that they found out was in Jowl and Nix's server, and that pushed Crystal over the edge and got them really upset. And uh, let Peaches know about all that stuff, so Peaches was able to obviously execute as Peaches does, respectfully. Respectfully, as Peaches does, they execute. All right, so there's a reply to this last thing, which was, what, 6.22 a.m.? It's 15 hour ago when we just saw. Excuse? I just showed what the image was, and I hope you see the confusion with your last video when your husband said this way before my video or anything. It comes across as a threat to keep things from being found out. If you ever want to call, let me know. So Peaches is now open for a call session, which I think Giles should take. Hello. But then it looks like right down here, I will talk privately to the victims involved if they wanted to. Nat with you or your shadow counsel. We have nothing. We've had enough from you. Leave us alone. I can see Peaches approaching them very strong, by the way, and having a strong, aggressive approach to them. It's kind of their style from what I can see. Even when I had DMs with Peaches before, they're pretty, I don't want to say blunt, but they're pretty to the gosh dang point with how they speak. Peaches is. She doesn't rub people the right way a lot of the time. And it seems like it's scared Nyx and Jio. Especially since Nyx ran to Crystal to be like, hey, yo, Peaches is coming kind of strong on us right now. Uh, you did, you know, that whole thing with the victims, blah, blah, you know, flashback, whatnot. Um, so, yeah, Peaches does come through pretty strong when they come through with their stuff. I do think they should take that call regardless. Don't get scared. <laughs> I know Peaches is a tough component, you know what I'm saying? They, they're aggressive, but don't get scared. Topless Peaches with an 18 and up. What the heck? <laughs> SFW, what? 
Welcome to the spicy art. What? What the freak? <laughs> How'd you pull up on the block with this account? Wait, who is, is this even Peaches? This is actual Peaches? 736 followers? Man, that's crazy, bro. I didn't know they had one of these. And gonna, let's tighten it up and be serious now. There's another tweet of some weird things happening in the Knicks, the Shield chat, and uh, Jackie and Veer, which, like I said, from the screenshots we've seen, we can assume that this has happened. Like, come on, man. It's not crazy to assume this. Like, what they were talking about, how they didn't speak up and say anything. We've already established that. Let's move on. They got blocked. Okay. Important council. Knicks, the Shield update. At this time, a couple are working on the document. Okay, I didn't realize you weren't aware of what Nix did. It's something that happened in January 14th of 2022. At this time, many couple of others work document. Also around this time, a couple of months ago, victim I won't name, since I'm gonna move past all this, released. They were groomed by Artie. When the grooming happened, the victim was 15, Artie was 20, claiming later that the victim 18, saying she lied about her age. On the 14th, the person you probably known as Hyper Mart joined our server. Claiming they banned Artie from Nyx and JQ server because at the time they were a moderator upon doing this they were questioned and Artie went to Pingu, moderator Nyx and JQ server, asking why they were banned. After some time, Hyperion went to us saying they may need to need the document we are working on. And while we aren't done with it, we had the victim, victim story and some images from the Betty server. Despite Nix and Dread, the other admin at the time, being sent this information of the victim's story, they shot down the ban of Artie, claiming that as long as she didn't do it in Nix and Jakey server, it'd be fine. Okay, it's like I thought. This is what sparked Crystal's madness, probably, or I wouldn't say madness, but her rage. They unbanned Artie by saying there was a lack of information of her being a danger to minors. Even after this document was released on the 19th of January, it wasn't enough to ban her from Nix and Jakey server. It took eight whole months and a statement from Crystal about their story in order to get Artie banned. And in the time, Artie sent over a thousand messages and interacted with the community regularly and in general. The worst part of all this is that when this was brought up to Nix, they instead got mad at Hyperion for leaking mod chats and not the fact they sheltered a predator for eight whole months. Nix issued an apology, but I can no longer find it and I don't didn't think it was genuine then and I'm sure don't think it's genuine now. Okay, I got sent a long message with poop detailing Nix. Okay, so they probably got this sent from Crystal, right? Um, okay, so this explains, I think this explains why Crystal was like not freaked at, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they changed up, but wasn't it like in 2023 when they was talking about all that junk? I don't know, but the timelines are getting mixed up, bro. The timelines are getting mixed up. It's a gosh dang quote from this whole video. The timelines are getting mixed up. But yeah, once again, Nyx, obviously, we saw the screenshots, right? They said, as long as they don't do anything here, then whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, that's a big no-no, by the way. If someone does something bad somewhere else, you could ban them everywhere. We do that with our community now. If someone does something crazy in, uh, you know, the coffee bar or something, we, we get them the heck out. Or if they do something crazy in our server, I expect the coffee bar to get them out of theirs. So I still got to make sure if they get that one person out. I hope they did. <laughs> I hope they did get that one print. I might have to tell them, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they're aware. I freaking hate you, Donut. You're one of the gosh dang people that be trolling like this, bro. Donut, you're one of them, you son of a gun. They don't go extreme with it, but like, they do a little trolling, I guess. I'm trying to keep my final thoughts short, swift, because like, every time I record these junks, it's freaking long and it annoys me hearing it back, okay? So I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple, okay? If you watched the video, you know my full thoughts. Now you just need to know my decision, really. I'm gonna start backtracking a little bit, just a little bit, just for, you know, some just some reason as to why I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. So anyways, 2017, Jackie, Nix being in that server with groomers, them obviously saying jokes and whatnot, or at least seeing the jokes and just letting them slide by, still staying in the server or in the group chat. You know, not good, not good, right? They apologized for it and you know, okay, cool. That That's fine, whatever, you know? Jackie actually had a much of a better apology than Nyx. Nyx just threw it chilly under the dirt. Was like, hey bro, it was their fault, you know what I'm saying? It's a Latino thing. Anyways, moving on. Now I'm gonna laugh, let's just keep going. I know, it's ridiculous. Um, Jackie's even apology, or response to Peaches, when Peaches does their thing where they get very aggressive and they start being like, you're a pedo. Because you let you let this joke be said and you just moved along it and you just let that stuff happen, you're a pedo. And that that joke works. That tactic works from Peaches, by the way. It worked on Nick. You saw how crazy they went, delusion they went, and started throwing chili under the dirt and everything. You know what I'm saying? It worked. But uh with Jackie, they was just straight up called them out. They was like, What the heck? How am I a pedo? You know, solely off of this. You know, and it's like, okay, fair. Um, but um, I think fair. I could be remembering wrong, but I'm saying fair. 
feel free to comment or DM me if I if I messed up anywhere. By the way, obviously, um, because I would would want to be informed. But anyways, yeah, somewhat fair. Then move on to phase two. We have Nyx, who is letting Vera stay in the, the server, who is a groomer, giving false hope to Crystal, saying they'll get them out. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. Don't worry, I got it. And uh, doesn't do that. Stays in there for the check. Gets their money. Tries to play both sides. Is like, hey, you should probably get them out of the server because they're a groomer. But uh, if you don't, I don't care. I'm getting money. Uh, yeah, Camilla. <laughs> yeah. But if someone says something, I have to speak up, Camilla. But until then, I'm going to stay in here and be cozy and get my money. Okay. And then, boom. Phase two. Artie in the Underverse server. Nyx also lets them stay in there, even though they get a document that shows that Artie's a groomer. They let them stay in there, and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to let them stay in here. Uh, if they don't do anything bad, then it's fine, right? Uh, no, they have a previous history of being a groomer. Why would you let them continue staying there with a whole bunch of kids? That's actually insane. <laughs> you already messed up with Veer. Did you not notice? No, you didn't, because <laughs> you didn't need to call them out. You only called them out when Crystal called them out, because, you know what I'm saying, you got a little scared, a little spooked that, you know, you don't want to get thrown on the bus, too, as you said. If something bad happens to Jackie, I swear, I swear, you know what I'm saying? And uh, back to the apologies once again, even Jackie, when they dropped those videos, it was Nick speaking. It's almost like Nick was like, hey, let me get your account, baby, get more followers. Let me talk about why they're wrong about these things and post these videos. I'm just like, all right. But yeah, that's just my assumption, right? Uh, you know you know what we're going off. I'm not going to respond or uh, not respond, but keep re-saying what I've been saying. Uh, then boom, we're at the finale, guys, now. Now it's time for the decision, right? If you guys know me, I go off a three-strike system. If you haven't noticed, there's been two strikes from Veer here. The 2017, that was deep ago. You can apologize for that, and I, and I can reasonably believe that you have changed in the due time, right? The keeping the groomer in the server and not speaking up to help out those kids, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm sorry. Can't really apologize. Can't, can't really forgive that too much. Uh, that's going to be one strike. Doing it again with Art with Artie in the in the, in the 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 Underverse thing? Mm, that's a second strike, you know what I'm saying? So uh, they don't have a third strike. I do want them to become a better person. I believe everyone should, and that's why I go for this three-strike system. Did the same thing with Camilla. I do want them to become a better person. I really, really do, man. I believe there is good in everyone. They just have to try, you know what I'm saying? Nick can be a good person. Jackie already seems to be going on actually the good path and, you know, trying to become better. Um, and when they noticed they was called out for throwing things under the rug and they were, they, they felt like they definitely needed to say something at that point, you know what I'm saying? That shows that they weren't really ignoring it. They just try to move on, continue becoming better, which, you know, you got to speak up, Jackie. You got to speak up. I'm not saying Jackie didn't do anything wrong. They definitely did. I'm just saying they didn't go as crazy as Nyx. Dang! Okay, let's continue, bro, before this gets too long. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my final thoughts, bro. Um, because of that strike system I have, I will continue reacting to their content. And I do hope they continue to become better people. I do want them to be great people, man. I, I, I said at the beginning of the video, I very much appreciate and respect Nyx and Jackie for letting me do reactions, you know what I'm saying, to their content. And, you know, I'm not making a fuss about it or anything because of how to create creators before we were just, just dis like <laughs> disrespectful. I don't know. They, they just judge a book by its cover. And they're like, no, you can't react because of how other re reaction channels have been. They don't really give you a chance. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I absolutely hate that. But Nix and Jackie, they're different and they're huge. They don't have to be that nice. They don't have to be that kind. They don't have to be that giving. You know what I'm saying? They've got a ton of subs. And uh, yeah, so I respect that. And I also respect Peaches for taking the time to do put all this effort into videos and making sure victims are heard making sure victims are known you know what i'm saying crystal as well coming out and uh, uh dming me personally and helping me and be more informed about the situation you know being so kind about it you know um i appreciate a lot of the people in this party uh, for things that have how they've treated me you know what i'm saying thus far and uh i respect them both so i'd hope that we can all just become better uh people you know what i'm saying at the end of the day and I say we all, but it looks like Nick and Jackie are the ones that really need to you know, fix themselves up. Uh, but you get the point, man. I uh, hope much love um, to you guys for watching this far. appreciate you guys. And I hope that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I hope for the best. And before I close this out, I think it's really important to say this. Uh, everyone, if you guys, if, if you're a little younger, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you're in a server and there's a groomer messing with anyone or maybe even you yourself... Make sure you report to the mod team, and if the mod team does not do anything, expose that mother sucker. Just let everybody know. Get it, get out of the server. These mods don't care about you, you know what I'm saying? And then leave yourself, you know? And then if you're an adult in a server and you see something crazy happening, call them out, you know what I'm saying? Talk to the mods about it. If the mods don't do anything, let that junk be known, and then get out of there, you know what I'm saying? Get out of there with who you can, save who you can, you know what I'm saying? Look out for these kids, man. Look out for these kids, because a lot of kids ain't got guidance nowadays.
They ain't got someone helping them. They ain't got anyone, uh, you know, monitoring what they do on their phone. I'm not saying like parents are like, hey, every day ain't nice. Hey, but if you got a little kid, little youngin' on the phone, you better be checking out. Make sure ain't nothing bad happening. You know what I'm saying? So we got to look out for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, just remember that, guys, man. Stay safe. Love you all, man. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, Nick's Gile, if anyone in uh, Peaches, uh, Crystal, anyone uh, in these situations in here, I hope I was able to look at it from a good perspective. This is an outside perspective. If I missed anything, feel free to DM me or let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, see you guys later. Keep, keep the mind. Love you all. Good day or night. In peace. <sighs> Just looking at them like, hello, you gonna pick genocide? I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting to get my cameo.